Well, everyone, hello everyone, welcome to another Fly Deck to Sim Gaming live stream today, December of April 2021, one minute past four in the afternoon here in the UK. Finally, in the much requested Train Simulator world, today we are going to be playing Train Sim World 2. I've been led to believe this is the most up to date and best train sim there is. I have absolutely no experience uh, playing trade sim at all. Uh, well, that's a little bit of a lie. About four or five years ago, I did get what was Trade Sim World 20. Well, it's, I think they just updated it each year, 2021 now, but it's 2017. And I bought the Peterborough to London line, which is a train I used to get a lot as a kid. Uh, I played it for about an hour, and that was it. And then no, nothing for four or five years until yesterday, and I purchased this game. Um, I have an account, Flight to Sim. I'm up to level five, and that's because I was actually practicing on this one. I wanted to do a diesel train sim for the, the first one. I thought, no, what? Nah, let's let's go through the tutorial together. Let's go through the London Underground Bakerloo line, uh, do the tutorial, try some of the scenarios, and I have absolutely zero experience driving this. This is the first time I'll be driving this ever. Uh, you'll be getting to watch me find my way around the, the train. It's going to be quite funny, no doubt. We'll see how many stations I miss, how many mistakes I make. It's going to be plenty. Uh, great to see lots of the regular members here as well, so although it's sometimes always hard to tell because it doesn't link the membership for the original channel. But uh, John Padfield sees here, uh, Avgeek69, Richie Walsh, hope you're doing well. Adzi, hope you're doing very well as well. Addy H1302, afternoon folks, after a day fixing my washing machine and the kitchen plumbing, I'm looking forward to this. Oh no. <laughs> It'll be buses next. Andy, then I'll definitely need your help. Uh, Boodaloo's here, Simono, Ono, uh, Hawaii 345, Lewis Hancock. Oh, good to see you guys. I Yes, I'm going to see lots of aviation themed uh, banter I've seen in chat. I've seen Togas in chat already. I see, what's this here? Um, someone else said something about aviation, I think I can't remember. Rail Deck to Sim, yeah, brilliant. Uh, expecting a bumpy landing tonight to Travelino Blog Aviation. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of bads here. Kieran Harvey's here as well. Kieran is an actual train driver. Kieran, please watch very carefully because I'll be uh, very much looking at chat here. Now, the latency, I've hopefully lowered as low as possible, so it's around two or three seconds between me saying something and you guys hearing it. So anyway, here is the London Underground line. Uh, now, before I press... No, is it Continue Journey? Um, yes, so if I press that one, it carries on with the story, but I have done the introduction experience. I'm going to do it again, but I've not done any of the missions at all. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, so, just to go here to explore training, I am going to repeat, repeat the Bakerloo, Bakerloo line introduction, and, and this I did do. It just basically gets you into the train, shows you the controls of the game, and then we'll go straight to the next one, which is a the introduction to the train itself, which I haven't done. And then we'll look at some of the scenarios and see how good of a, a a tube train driver I could be. So anyway, here's the introduction mission loading up. You get lots of uh, adverts in this game, which is lovely to see. Coming soon, the Clinchfield Railroad. But if this stream is popular, I might look at getting some of the DLC and doing some of the other lines, but there's plenty, I think, in the stock game to, to look forward to. Um, uh, Andy says, oh dear, Doc, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> on all your bus driver experience. Right, anyway, I'll turn the music off for this because I think there's a little bit of a tutorial and some guidance here. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains Wonderful. from around the world. Wonderful. Uh, press E to begin. Right, uh, I did this yesterday, but I can't actually remember what to do next. You have to walk just around. just awarded some action points. Yes, action These points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen <laughs> and count towards your overall experience. Right. It is necessary to be fully observant of the surrounding world. So I think it shows you how to control it. So I'm just using the mouse to look around. Uh, no, I would not like to invent my controls. Besides operating trains, there are lots of requirements to navigate on foot. Try moving around now. So I use the kind of WASD key to walk around. So I think I've got to go find my train. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Look, I'm in the underground. There's other people. You can like, walk into them. And uh, you can tell them all, look at me, I'm a train driver. <laughs> Going to go see my train. It's pretty cool. Um, actually, can you go on the train tracks? I didn't actually try that. Oh, yes, you can. I didn't even do that yesterday. Uh, <laughs> you climb up. Yeah, you can actually walk on the train tracks. That's pretty dangerous. Uh, probably got electrocuted in real life. Um, and I think you can make yourself press shift to go a bit quicker. There we go. I can run to my train. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I didn't actually know you could go on the rails, so I, I did on the diesel locomotive mission. Right, let's go. Ooh. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. What was that again? Was it a newspaper or something I had to find? Right, there's a train coming. Oh no, it must be on another line. Uh, this station is pretty British. Yes, I think it is. The London of the ground is representing here. A train driver never runs, says Kieran. <laughs> Oh, there is my train. Oh. Are these the same people that were in the safari in that stream the other day? Looks like it. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm going to be driving, so I need to go to the front. I, it's quite busy. It's really cool. First alpaca connect. Absolutely right. This train driver's running, Kieran. <laughs> right, here we go. Sit in a... Oh, yes, I just have to sit down for this one. I'll sit next to her. You can pause the experience at any point and review previous and current objectives. Right. Check it out now, then return to the game. Right, we'll just look at that quickly and let's go back into it. Right, follow the marker to the staff door. There we are. Uh, A lot of time will be spent operating trains. So when ready, sit in the driver's it's seat. It's a train simulator, would expect anything less. Right, we'll do that. But how do I get her out? Well, I think I could just sit on her lap. <laughs> there we go. Right, ooh, press the audible warning reset button. Right, I did do this right when I got the game because it automatically opened it. A heads up display it. has appeared on the right side of the screen. This is a guide to what the train is doing. Okay, might have to just listen to this, guys. This is the speed display. The white needle shows current speed. The red marker indicates the maximum... Hi, Pilate, for forward, hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, continue. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Right. Continue. So one forward. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power control is in. So zero at the moment. I'm trying to remember all this. <laughs> These are brake indicators. They show the. So what's MR and BP? I presume BP was brake pressure. Upwind. I have no idea. In the top right are the signal and speed I definitely need the, the... I These know you can turn it off, look, but I definitely need this on. Approaching ...and countdown distance <laughs> to when they will come into effect. <laughs> I hope they plan to change careers. Might, might do it. Some of these displays this. can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. Okay. This train is ready to go. Push right, the I'll indicator the handle this, all the way forward to get moving. Okay, so... It's been a while since I've done this. Deadman's handle, press A, or I can use A. Oh, we got, we're off. But shunt, isn't that just like when you nudge a trailer up, um, straight away? Oh, we're off. The basic really line short. runs for just 15 miles, but along that length it connects the suburbs of Harrow, the affluent districts of Maida Vale and Marlebone, and famous places such as Baker Street, Oxford Street, and Piccadilly Circus. Wonderful. The trains that operate are the oldest on the network, taking their name from the year they were introduced, 1972, 1972 Tube Stock. They feature seven carriages in 4 plus 3 configuration. There you go. How's the sound, guys? Too loud? Too quiet? Um, and that's my target speed, so how do I... I need to, like, slow down now, I think. Ah, I'm going too fast. How do I slow down? Or is it just part of the tutorial? Probably might tell me to slow down. Congratulations. Oh, I've won. <laughs> this is just the beginning of your experience. There is much more to be explored. I'm going too fast, though. Well, I think I've... Oh, Welcome well, there you to are. the London Underground. Join the ranks to keep millions of annual passengers moving between the suburbs and world-famous locations throughout central London. Take to the controls of the oldest tube trains on the network I'm going and to. convey commuters from residential to commercial districts across the city. Can't Along wait. the way, don't forget to place route maps, I'll do that. repair platform monitors, what, really? put up posters, is that, and restock is that the description displays. of a train driver? This <laughs> is the Baker Line. <laughs> right, so I think that's just the introduction tutorial, just to give you the basics. Uh, I've already did that once, and that's the only time I've done the tube missions. Um, okay, so that's done. Total score. Continue. All right, lovely. We'll put a little bit of background in music in here whilst we wait for the uh, next mission to activate. Ah, I think it's straight into the next mission. Here we go. That's what we want. 72 stock introduction. I've not done this yet. 
Welcome to your first day on the Bakerloo line of the I London the Underground. Job. Here you will be taken through a brief introduction on operating the 1972 tube stop that operate on this line. Excellent. During this session, you'll be taken through the starter procedure, critical driving controls, and passenger operations at several stations. I need all the help here. Thanks, Gary. A. The indicated train and climb aboard to get started. Okay, A is for acceleration, D is for decel. Uh, congratulations, you're fire, said Moe. Yeah, I went a little bit fast there. I had no control of it. Uh, Andy says, blimey, I've got an easy driving buses. I know. Right, well, let's see if we can do the next thing here. Uh, for the purpose of training module, some interactive elements are locked. Climb aboard. Climb All right, now, so I'm going to use my... There we are. Do you actually have to walk in between the trains to get in? Uh, e to climb upstairs. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. I hope so. Right, sit in the driver's seat. I've not done this before. The control before. switch activates the train for operation. And I'm going to have to remember this because I think he goes away after a while. So, operate, insert the control key. Set the control switch to on. Oh, I can the hear noises. The direction selector determines the direction of travel. Okay. Set the driver's selector to in inter got intermediate tyres on. <laughs> I'm sure they want forward. Oh, I don't know. We've got to turn the thing on first, haven't I? This train features a combined power brake handle. Set this as indicated to begin the startup procedure. Okay. Uh, close the main door. I think it's already closed. Oh, oh, I thought I was moving for a second, but it was another train. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Have you ever had that at the station when you're looking out the window like that and you think you're moving but it's not you? I always remember that. Right, you can use A to increase the traction. Um, set the traction brake control to emergency. Oh dear. There we are. Set the brake as indicated. Set the, as indicated. Set the traction control to off and release. Uh, traction brake control to off and release. Oh my god, there's so many modes! Okay. Sounds like something's leaking. Press the audible reset button. Oh, that stopped the hissing. Set the traction brake control to Rio 1 hold. Okay. The train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin moving. Forward. Set the traction brake control to shunt. Uh -oh. oh, I'm making it beep a lot. Oh, nightmare. What's going on? Oh, hold on, I press A. Oh, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Oh, I've got a, an award. Train Sim World Rookie Award. <laughs> oh my god, right, I'm off. Use the. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce component stress and maintenance requirements. To often release. Oh, I'm stopping. Oh, what have I done? I don't even know. Oh, it said go to off and release. Oh, shunt. Right, I'm going to probably use ASD. It'll be easier. So that's uh, that's forward. That's shunt mode. Oh my days. Let me practice here. Let's see it. No, let's do. There we go, off and release, there we go, that's coasting. A small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable right, that's gonna and be safe D, stop. isn't it? Ah, got it. So, off and release is coasting, shunt is forward, and then Rio 1 hold is braking. Look at that. Oh, what a pro. Two yards. Oh, that'll do. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. How do I look at the platform? It's an external view, there we go. Right, looks all safe, all good here. And now I need to open the doors. Open left. Loading passages. You can actually see them getting on, look, did you see that? Amazing. That's my first time ever carrying passages in the train sim. Matt Burgess, your old home. Very cool. That beeping, did you close the doors? No idea. Down. Set the doors to locked. Uh, Will says, D I wonder if you can use an Xbox controller. You can, because when I plugged it in, it had all the the buttons it said you can use. And I think you can get it for Xbox and PlayStation, but I wanted to use my mouse. Right, close. 
the trolley van. Shit, now what? The train is now ready to depart. Set the direction selector and apply power to begin moving. So it was W? No, 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 no. We want it forward. It's D and A, isn't it? Shunt. Ah, we're on our way. The Kilburn next Park. On the line is Kilburn Park. Where Kilburn. We will perform a passenger stop. Excellent. I'm, I'm doing really well. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, we're going to go down here, so we've got to be careful. Speed could run away. Found that on the. Uh, the freight train sim game. Uh, 12 miles an hour. Maybe I should go to coast now because look at the slope. 3%. Yeah. Uh, I often release. Oh, look, it's actually accelerating on its own. Do we have a horn? said Paul Shoesmith. Absolutely no idea. Is the train not in service or is it the driver? <laughs> oh, go too fast. Need to brake. That's S. 70. I'm not. Yeah, so what? Rio brake. There we are. Back to often release. Kind of coasting my way into the tunnel. How do I turn the lights on? Oh look, I can accelerate now actually. Uh, speed limit's 35 uh, miles an hour. Shunt. Now if I hold it down, does it go even faster? Series, parallel. I think parallel must be full power. Let's, let's do it. a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop. Oh yeah, crap. Oh, wait. Oh, excuse me, I can't get close to the station. I realise we're 200 yards away. I'm trying to accelerate. We better start braking, actually. Uh, am I going too fast? No, I think they usually come in the tunnel this way. Oh no! Ah, oh, stop! Uh, that's... I'm doing it. I'm doing all right. Am I coast? Is that coast mode? No, I'm on brake. Off and release. There we are. My first ever station. Right. What's that butter? Buttered it in. <laughs> it's really fun. Oh, break. Uh. Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Okay, all looks safe. Let's unlock the doors. Loading passages. Oh, no, I was getting off Rod. <laughs> <laughs> They've heard I'm driving, that's why. <laughs> Where do these names come from? What's that you're referencing there? List of it for the train bits? I don't know. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. Alright, set the doors to locked. That sounds just like the tube. Proceed to the next stop at Maida Vale, unguided this time. Unguided? <laughs> to Maida Vale, let's do it. Right, unguided. So I need to turn the brakes off. No, not that's not drive selector forward. No, that's braking. Lap! Oh, what have I done? I think I'm going the wrong way. Shunt! There we are. Onwards! <laughs> Shunt parallel. I think the parallel represents the electrical circuit in this one. I don't know. Shunt? I don't know. I thought shunting trains is when you like knocking carriages around or towing them. I don't know. Or to break back said Ethan's aviation. <laughs> Would you get on it if you saw it enter the station like that? It was very smooth mowing. Right, we definitely want some parallel acceleration. Let's go. Got uh, 600 yards till the uh, made avail, wasn't it, I think. 30... What's that top speed? Or oh, my speed limit? 35 miles an hour? And I've got a green light. Green is go. Right, let's do a little bit of coasting. There we are, 32 miles an hour coasting, no problem. Look at this! I'm well impressed! Oh, start braking. Back to coast. I just press D loads to slow down really quickly. I think this is on really easy mode. Maybe if I try and do the timetable one, it'll be tougher. Oh, brake! Look at that. Oh no, unlock doors. Uh, that one was it. Yes, get in. I've not done this one at all. It's the first time. I didn't check if it was safe before though. <laughs> I presume it was. Wonderful. Right, passages loaded. Let's Good work. 
That concludes all of the basics of operating this train. Amazing. Is that it? Oh yes, look at that. Mission two accomplished. Right. So look at that. I didn't go. Sp I didn't speed once. Well, I did. Okay, I did a little bit there. Uh, I got a gold medal. <laughs> I think that's the top prize. Continue. <laughs> that's it. I'm a qualified tube train driver. I think that's the only kind of tutorial missions now. I think the next mission is like an actual, you know, oh zone one. I think it's gone straight into it. Let's do this then. See what happens. Oh, I'm already in my train. Welcome to the London Road Depot. This is a northbound service which will travel to and terminate at Queen's Park. Okay. Do I have to click anything? Oh, no, we're good. So, I've still got guidance I'm very grateful for. So I think if I press escape and then schedule, it'll tell you what you need to do. Oh, well, how long is this? 6.29. So acknowledge, ready, depart, low passengers. All right, well, let's do our best. Message log. I think this is like the first mission with no guidance there. Where's the bullet tray? Not on this one, Kurosh. Right, set the traction brake control to off and release. I used the throttle, but I think I could press the wrong button. Oh no, wrong flipping buttons. Emergency. Where's it off and release? There we are. Press the audible warning button. Set the traction to shunt there, but I need this in forward first, don't I? There we are. No, god damn it. I'm on my way. Depot exit. Amazing. Hold on, that's a red light. Does that mean I need to stop? How do I make... That's red. Right, Kieran, help. Doesn't that mean stop? Uh, just revive me, please. Yes, stop drive, thanks. <laughs> Rejected takeoff. So wait, wait for a moment. Okay. Cool, that was close. I nearly went straight on. Line entry. Stop at location line entry. Well, it's gone green on the top right. Um, uh, SPAD report to Chief Driver. What's SPAD mean? Line entry, but can I go now? Go. Thanks, Adam Fox. <laughs> right. Series. This is King. Is this near King's Cross? I recognise. I sort of recognise it from not this view, but from a passenger point of view. Oh, I'm speeding. I'm speeding. Oh, I just, just realised. Five miles an hour. Oh. Signal past the danger. Bottle signal is off, so yes. Signal past the danger. Oh, guys, thank you so much. Your training experience is really helping me here. But I'm going to go five miles an hour through this tunnel. Jo uh, John Pavel, a work call came in. Did I miss any fines? I've, I still have my trade license, although I am I have a tendency to speeding. It's only five miles an hour through this tunnel. Oh, it's a ten mile an hour speed coming up then, so I'll just let it coast. Come on, 10 miles an hour. It's still saying 5. Or do I have to wait until the end of the train comes up? Oh my days. 5 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, no, I pressed the wrong button here, I think. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I'm getting a bit confused with my buttons. Forward and hold. There we are. It's A and D. I better start breaking, otherwise I'm going to get punished. Oh, it's another stop here, look. Oh, the rear of the train has to pass the speed limit board. Okay, but this is another stop, isn't it? Look, red. <laughs> is this what they have to do, train drivers? Uh, Kieran, do you just have to flick between the two? There's another red light here, so... Scary, I have to wait in the tunnel. I look at the airport driving significantly over speed limit. I got 500 points. <laughs> Wait a moment, it says. Green. Green is go. Oh, look. Uh, it's the 6.04.45 to Waterloo. I don't want to be running late. Uh, right. Oh. No, what's the buttons again? Shunt. There we are. Look, I'm running. So 6.04.45. I've only got 45 seconds to drive 700 yards. But I've got a speed limit. I'm never going to make the times. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to slow down. 
surely, I, surely if you're running late, you can just just go a little bit over the speed limit. <laughs> Can you use reverse thrust for that? Is a list of it unbelievable? Oh, it's red lights. Don't I need to stop again? Oh no, that's on a different rail. Oh, I can go to 15 miles now. I've tripled my speed speed requirement. Timetable goes in the bin. Ah, oh, never mind. Well, I'm running. Oh, look at the top top left. Look, 6:04:45, and I'm now running a few seconds late. That would be quite realistic, I suppose. Oh, I can actually go a bit forward now. Shunt. 500 yards to go. Oh, look at the speed increase now. Oh, let's go. We've got a timetable to catch up with. Parallel. Off and release. The speed limit is just a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forget tube. Drive proper change trains. I know, Adam, but this one contains the tutorial. There are some other trains for me to drive. If you want me to switch over to the diesel one, I might do it in a bit. Uh, I want to just do a couple of these ones here. Oh, look, we can definitely speed up now. But we're, there's no point speeding up, look, because we're coming up to the, the uh, point we need to stop. We're only running a minute behind the schedule. Do my best to make it up. I think this was the easiest one to drive as well. Let's start braking. That sound. There we go. Alright, open the doors. Loading passengers, there we are. So we're only a minute behind schedule. Look, you've got the clock there as well. Didn't check if they're safe, safely on board. Well, I have to presume they are. Lock doors. And proceed to the next station, I guess. Shunt. <laughs> right. Oh, look, I'm already behind. I've got five seconds to get there. <laughs> right, full power. How many stations have I got to go to on this mission? Hopefully not too many. I might try the diesel train mission next. There we are. Oh, that sound. Right, accelerate again. Amazing. And I think if I press 9, I get a map, can't I? There we are. So I'm not doing all of it on this mission, I think. I'm only going a few between the two. Start breaking it. Tech signal says John M. Where's that? It's green on the top right. Oh, better start slowing down again. It's <laughs> all about. You've got to try and manage the energy, I guess, to minimise the amount of time you're using electricity. I better start breaking. <laughs> where's the comfort rating for the passengers? Doors left now. Superb. I think there's a view you can do here oh, to look out the window, but I can't remember what it is. Well, uh, I'll imagine the passengers are in there. Isn't there a, there's a mirror I can even check as well. Oh, how do I get back into my seat? There we go. Lock doors. Which side were they? Left. Onwards. Noises. Shunt. Damn it. Still running behind schedule. Only just. Uh, John, Captain, before you move off from the station, you have to check the signal is either green or yellow to go. Ah. <laughs> I'll admit I've not been checking that. <laughs> Very good. Driving under speed limit. Got some more points. You seem to get more points for speeding, though. Oh, uh, no, 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 we'll slow down. No, no, no. Ah, uh, slow down, slow down. Oh, that was close. Forget that some of the tube, so, uh, tube stations are so close to each other. 
Right, I'll check the signal this time to make sure it stays green. Shutter's like set take off for us, yes. If you want some shut emojis, let me know. <laughs> Excellent. I can't remember. Ah, that was three. There we are. Oh, look. That's actually a really busy tube. Amazing. Right, get ready to close. And let's go. Look at that. Saved a bit of time there, I think. Yes. Full power. I'm nearly caught up with the schedule. I didn't check the signal, though. <laughs> Was it green? I hope so. <laughs> I'm not going shut now. I'm going full power. I'm going parallel. Oh, speeding. Oops. Yeah. Driving over speed limit. You still get points for it, though. <laughs> it's definitely a power. <laughs> so Piccadilly Circus. Nice. I've been to this station. Nearly caught up with the schedule, that's wonderful. Oh, that sound! Excellent. Definitely gonna off and release now. It's upslope this one, but. Slide deck to sim accelerated calmly, said the narrator, Kurosh. <laughs> Look at that! I've caught up with my schedule now, only 15 seconds behind. But immediately opening the doors. Oh no, I'm not. I unlocked doors. Oh, wrong side, isn't it? Am I the wrong side? How do oh no, I'm wasting time! Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Where is the horn? Uh, oh, look, whistle. What was that? <laughs> it's not as impressive as I thought. Right, door closed. I've got a whistle, not a horn. Uh, green signal, green. Yeah, looks like green ahead, onwards. Shunt. Right, we've got uh, 55 seconds to get to Oxford Circus, full power. <laughs> Sounds like a clarinet. Coming through. Is that actually how it sounds? Surely it is. I should think it is. Right, we're uh, off and releasing. <laughs> Andrew, does the Bakerloo line stop at Vumbo Okavango? You would know, you've been. <laughs> Very good. Look, I'm not speeding. Jake Morley, 1972 stock. Correct. I checked that before the stream. <laughs> I think Control 6 or Control 7 might get rid of the colours on the track in stations. Oh, no, wrong way. Oh, I was trying to put more power in, not slow down. I kind of like that though, Kieran. <laughs> I know I can get rid of that to make it expert mode. So I, I have to rely then on the, uh, the signal lights. But I don't know what my speed limit is, that's the problem. That's full power. Right, there we are. Which can I think I'm going a little bit too fast? That's the schedule. Oh, another minute behind. What's it faffing around? Emergency brakes. Uh, probably should have used that. Well, let's stop me in time. <laughs> Opening doors. You're overpowered. Yep, very good. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, get ready to close them. I'm trying to crawl this schedule back. Lock doors. Oh, it's, just, oh, it's always getting these buttons muddled up. Green, green, green. Let's go. Just having a look here at the menu. What have I got left to do? Just, there's only a few more stations. I think four or five. I'm going to try and call the schedule back and then I might try one of the diesel train missions. That would be a lot more 
exciting, I believe. Oh, no, I've gone out of gear. I need to get into... No, I'm in forward, and it's... Oh, there we are, parallel. Damn it. Will there be a quiz today, said Anthony? No. Derate the engine to 22k, brilliant. Passengers are the pimples at the back. <laughs> I did break a little bit too hard there. Oh no, I was too busy looking at chat. Now look at myself. Oh, I'm really speeding here. Oh, oh no. Got a derail in the tube. Oops. Take one eye off the ball in chat. That's it. <laughs> it went red then. I've never seen it go red before. Just remember to use A and D and not the other keys. Oh no, I can speed up again. Oh, wrong way. A, A. <laughs> Oh, so uncomfortable for everyone in the back. Oh, you wake up some time, that is true, Paul, but then I accidentally braked and put it all the way down, so it's completely pointless. Listen, why does it say 30 mile an hour top right and still at 20 mile, 29 miles an hour you're speeding? I think that means it's the upcoming speed limit. So at 0 0.6 miles, it's 35 miles an hour. That is the next speed limit. At the moment, it's 30. You see the little red dot on the speed, I think. How's the time doing on the schedule? No, we're still a minute behind. We've been a minute behind consistently. Oh no, break. Oh, blast! I think I've overshot it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, my brake's hot. No! Emergency brake! <laughs> now what do I do? Why didn't that stop? Uh, oh, I'd load passengers. Are you sure? Let's see what happens. They're getting on! <laughs> <laughs> they must be getting on the rear carriage. <laughs> Thanks, game, for forgiving me. <laughs> they must be clambering over the rail as we speak. I kind of misjudged that. Lock doors. Yes, move along. <laughs> I've got like full emergency brakes on there. Right, Baker Street next. I'll be to Baker Street as well. Let's go. What's that hissing sound? That doesn't sound good. Kieran? <laughs> Why is it hissing at me? Uh, it sounds like something's leaking. Is that my brake smells -y? Unbelievable. Thanks, Joseph. <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a, a bit of a hissing sound and I've got a, an explanation mark here. Door disabled? Oh no, what have I done? Press the audible reset button thing. But I've, I've got a, I think I've got the doors open at the moment. Oh, I'm speeding as well. Oh, this has gone bad. She dropped the brake to the minimum right before coming to a stop. Maybe. <laughs> I'm very concerned with the explanation mark. Everything has gone bad. Oh, I need to slow down again. I won't overshoot the station this time. I need to fix my train. It sounds like he's got a leak. Look, I've stopped here perfectly. Ah, perfect. And the leak stopped as well. Now my ma my next main concern is the fact that the uh, doors are open. Uh, again, I've slightly overshot it again, but nothing to see here. Right, open, unlock doors. Maybe these ones are... Door closed left. Oh, they're definitely closed now. Loading passengers. I love it when things sort themselves out. <laughs> right, lock doors. Uh, doors. Right, I need to get rid of that excavation mark. Look. Look at this. Something's wrong. Note to self, do not rise off the London underground. <laughs> Uh, doors closed. Doors closed. Right, well, we're gonna have to carry on. Can't be that bad. It's, it's at least it's working. It's moving. Press Q, says Adam Fox. I uh, don't reset thing. The blue light next to the left doors is the insert light. If it's lit up blue, all doors are shut. Ah, okay. Thank you. So, what's the caution for then? Oh no, I stop. 
Lord Everything, can I be a mod? Uh, I, I don't speak for moderators like that. If any moderators are here from the main channel, uh, they're moderators on the main channel. Doors are closed, you have the blue interlock. That's good, but I've broken it for sure. Doors disabled, apparently. Uh, how's my schedule doing? Oh dear, two minutes behind schedule now. <laughs> oh, I saw another train there. Right, this one's looking much more controlled. Is it because you missed a stop? Maybe. No, because no, when I highlight it, it says something about doors. Oh, I thought she was about to jump on the line there. Dearie me. That was a better. Ah, yeah, see the blue light. Look, if I highlight it, it says... Oh, no, may maybe it is because I missed a stop. It might just be a... Mm. Possibly. Well, hopefully the boss won't notice. <laughs> Press audible reset when you are stopped. Ah, you almost got your first kill. <laughs> it says door to Oh no, it's not door to sell. That's that door, but I don't know what this means. I think I've broken something. Right, onwards. <laughs> Press delete. Maybe I'll just quickly look at the menu. Uh, is there anything here that says I've done anything wrong? No, just messages. A little bit of speeding. There's the schedule. It's all ticked, look. All ticked. Well, there's something... Oh, I'll have to get the QRH out. <laughs> I'll list them in. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Plainly, Madam Two Swords, anyone? Uh, I can't remember where, where's what in London with the stations. Struggle to get to the top speed of this train. Press clear. That fixes most issues. Is that in the game? Or is that like a different button? Azil, thank you. Now, Romeo says, I play trains in World 2. What roost do you have? This is the first ever time playing this game. I don't have any... Uh, Anything. <laughs> this is the stock game. Uh, right, let's let's unlock the doors. All right, okay, a little bit more controlled. For me, it brings that up when I lift up the dead man's handle. That sounds like something where if you fall asleep or something, it stops the train. I'm not sure. All right. Shunt. Paddington next. Excellent. This must be one of the last few ones here. And uh, on the line. Very cool. Yeah, we'll look at the diesel missions next. I've done some of them already and I quite enjoyed doing them. Um, I think we'll do the next mission on that. I've not done any beyond that as well. I can. I, it takes ages for me to start up that train though and I've no doubt I've got the, the assistance I need in chat to help me get it started. <laughs> we'll do some tra train haulage next and then on the next one I might do the German the German train on a, on a different stream. I recommend Southeastern High Speed and Great Western Express. Yes I did see there was one that was the the one the old Intercity 125 line. That's the train I used to get when I was much younger. Whoa whoa, whoa the speed. No, that's the wrong way. Oh. See, <laughs> how's the schedule doing? Oh, two minutes behind. <laughs> I braked a little bit ambitiously there because I was speeding so much. I'm not. I'm not looking at the top right. The new speed limits. Oh dear. Well, I'm not doing very well with the fact that. The high speed I think I've gotten all stream is about 35 miles an hour. <laughs> oh no, I've done it again! Oh, for goodness sake. I think it, thankfully it's quite forgiving with the overshoots. There they are. All the uh, 
businessmen and ladies of London. Superb. Oh, no, no, be careful, don't start rolling with the passengers. I was already moving, and I, <laughs> I think I might have already been moving forward. <laughs> Warwick Avenue next. My real train driver, brilliant. Play Sim Real 2021, not heard of that. Is this a small train sim? <laughs> it's as close as you can get. Oops, speeding again. Look, I take my eye off the chat for one second. Uh, Romeo, just so you know, it's hard to drive the German one right. You have to press 15 buttons before you can move. And also, there is a glitch of some of the trains. They do not move. I won't be trying that one this stream. I'll be doing the uh, next one. We'll try out the... Um, and once I've done this mission, I'm going to try out the, the US diesel one. I've done some of those already. Speed limit's 30 miles an hour. Green signal is ahead. Getting up to the top speed, look. And Luigi, you make me laugh with your funny mistakes, like when you fell on the fell on the tracks at the beginning. I, well, this is my first time playing it. I think, I think had I played and practice it first, it would have been a bit more boring. I think it's quite fun, you guys watching me experiment and trying to, trying to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have I break? Have I timed this perfectly with brakes one? Might just have to go to brakes two. Oh, I've just realised you have to hold it down a bit. Just one, one. Ah, I've just realised one push of it isn't always enough. So you kind of got to have to hold it down. Excellent. Well, here's Warwick Avenue. You're doing good, Captain. Thanks, John. Someone has some faith. <laughs> right. Lock doors. Wait for that blue light to go out. Let's go. Maid of Ale? Haven't we been there already? Or was that on the first mission? I think this must be the last, if not second from last. Yeah, we've only got Maid of Ale, Kilburn Park and Queen's Park. And then that is it. Very cool. And uh, Matt loved the USGM loco sound. Remind me of my childhood. Very cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll drive the, the big thing next. I'll do whatever the next mission was on there. I, I found on one of the missions it was really quite tough because you had to like switch tracks around and all sorts uh, of stuff. Well, we are 30 mile an hour. Off. That's coast. And it's no speeding. So we're two two minutes behind the schedule. Hi John, I hope you're doing well. Trades, he says, yes. <laughs> I thought we give him a try today. Coasting, coasting in. But now, I have, now I've just realised that you have to kind of hold it down to get to the next click. But if I just tap it once quickly, it doesn't activate. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. I think I've wasted about three minutes trying to faff for these doors. Play the clarinet. That was a butter, <laughs> butter at the station. <laughs> Pokey says greaser. Look at that, that was my best one yet. <laughs> Excellent. Right, this will be the penultimate stop. Can we get a PA? Uh, Sure, Paul Shoesmith. Just trying to remember where we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your captain. <laughs> in the train. Uh, next stop, Kilburn Park. 
and we're trying to make back as much time as possible on the schedule. Thank you for choosing to drive with Alpaca Underground. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Romeo's Road, TFL, if you keep on spamming chat like that, you'll only get uh, kicked out by one of the mods. I saw your message the first time at the time before you asked it about two minutes ago. We will perhaps try some DLC next stream. Thank you. Thanks, Tom, for seeing it. Oh, a bit uphill here. Yeah, I don't know what the exclamation mark is for, though, on my train. Another buttery stop. Now, if only I could have done that at the start. I'm even going to put the brakes to one, so I only have to release them quickly. You can make liveries for this game as well, can you? That's really cool. Oh no, why am I taking so long? Oh, I've just wasted another 15 seconds on the schedule. Damn it. Butter a firm. <laughs> Uh, blue lights on onwards the safe talk will be pleased the air bridge will connect immediately Daniel calm calm captain all good I know I'm getting a bit more proficient it's about two perfect stops Jonathan, are you checking for trapped passengers in the monitors before moving off right? Yes. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's another train. I hope he's on a different line. <laughs> Not the one in front of me. Oh, we're going outside, getting some fresh air. Cool. My train's at full power at the moment. I'm struggling to get up this hill, though. Ah! Daylight. That means I can probably do an outside view now. Oh, slow down! Uh. I missed the speed limit. I will coast on in at 15 then. Excellent! And I can do an outside view now because I'm out the tunnels. Look at that! Check it out! 1972 train. That's the gradient above the electric. Uh, the, I know the gradient one, John. It was the exclamation mark. I'm not so sure about. Oh, it was a red signal as well. This could be the last one, I think. Open doors. Loading passengers. 5G stop. <laughs> What's going to happen next then? There we are. Objective complete. Yes! Did I get a gold medal though? That's the important thing. Oh no, I got a silver. Damn it. I didn't get gold. I wonder why. <laughs> it might have been to do some stop accuracy. Which one was it? Look, not bad. Two yards. Four yards. Where, oh, look at that. 0 0.5 yards. I think this is the one that was a little bit concerning for my score. 30 yards. <laughs> Hi Marsh, London's not ready, 0 out of 10 realism, brilliant. This is the Queen's part, it's where the train terminates, very cool. Oh wow, well, okay. Amazed you got a silver, said Adam, unbelievable. <laughs> I'm quite surprised as well. <laughs> right, very cool. Well, let's leave the London Underground for now. No, I won't do this one. It'll be more of the same, no doubt. So we'll go to the main venue. Mistakes were made. Let's see how we are at driving. Um, I'll just see... So we got to... Yeah, we did those first two there. I might try some more on a later stream. So we did, we did Zone 1. That was our first mission. There's our silver medal. There's loads, look. Chapter 2, Chapter 3. My goodness, quite a lot with the stock game. I'm quite surprised. I'm up to level 7, look, my license. Uh, so now let's go to... Um, the 
the a US sand patch grade train, the diesel one. So just to show you guys on Explore training, I did some of the training missions yesterday as a bit of a play around. I haven't done all of them. Uh, so if I go back and I did the first scenario for a bit of a practice, that, uh, that was 60 minutes. This one's 45 minutes. We'll see how we are after this stream. I think I'll probably call it next. The next one's looking is it's a two hour train mission. Um, so I think if we do this one, I've not done it and, and see how we get on. It says there's work to be done in Cumberland Terminal. Switch and service the required locomotives. I don't know if that involves carrying big cargo loads or anything like that. Unless one of you would recommend another one. I mean, look at these ones. These are very hard. But um, I want one that's carrying loads of stuff. Uh, I mean, can I get more information about it? Oh, well, too late. I've clicked it. We'll just do this one. <laughs> No, that's just shunting. Do you want me to do another one, though? I really don't mind. Do you want me to do shunting? Shunting or a different mission? I really don't mind. I've accidentally clicked it. I thought I was going to get more information when I clicked it. You'll be just shunt switching trains. So that sounds boring. I don't want to be that. Different mission, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Let me back out of this mission. Because they have two things on this one, unlike the, the underground one. Um, you have this. Yes, I don't want to be shunting. Uh, yeah, climb aboard, shunting, no dear. Main menu. I want to be carrying loads of stuff. Um, so yeah, unlike the train underground one, if you go here to explore, you've got the scenarios, but you've also got something else. You've got the... <clears throat> Is it this one? Yeah, so you've got the scenarios and the other missions here. So what's that's the morning bowl switching. Um, because I did one of these and it took ages. And there was no guidance from it. So I, I don't know if I could do another one perhaps. Westbound delivery. He's doing okay for a newbie. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Let's get him in a 66 with some weight on. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know which one I need to be doing. Westbound delivery. Is that going to take 10 hours or... I think... Because that's another switching one. Chapter 3 have long hauls. But they probably have... I've not driven this train before. Heavy train. Big power. Which one? Uh, where, where do you find like the time? I, I guess I can just double click these. You don't have the DLC, boss. Oh, do I need a DLC to do these ones? Oh, really? I thought I could just double click them. Powering America? Hmm. A 66. Uh, I, uh, I probably need to have DLC. Do you want to survive the underground, Pete? Yeah, we made it safely. Um, We made it safely. Right, let me. Let me try, because I think you could do these, even though they're greyed out, because I swear I did a double click on one of these other ones, and it works straight away. Um, so these are those ones. Let me just see the other scenarios. So explore, scenario, these are different ones, and it's two hours. What's the time now? Five, a bit of a long one, I could try it. I said the chapter's in order. No, I don't think so. All right, I'm going to try. I don't want to do shunting. You'll part the crew in chains of running and into uh, charge of running into one going westward from Cumberland Terminal. Cumberland charge. I want, oh! Damn it. I don't know which one this was. I've just clicked it again, trying to think, that, trying to see if there's more information. It's a bit of a chunky menu. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. Is this just shunting though? Oh my goodness me. Do the ice and snow one, that sounds hard. Well, this hasn't got any carriages on it. A unit coal train came out of Shaw loading facility with a traction problem. They want the additional motors we brought up the sand patch to help them get the train to Cumberland where the locomotives can be swapped out. Uh 
Okay. <laughs> uh, let me just see what this is. Because I don't want to do one... 50, couple to formation, 52 vehicles. Should we try that one? Because I think that one I've got to drive 52, 52 things. Set the count switch to cut. Trail six. Oh my goodness me, this looks really hard. This should be good. Do you want me to do this one, guys? I'll, I'll, I'll see. I don't think I've driven this train either. Reporting at X570. <laughs> we'll take the locomotives over to Salisbury Junction and couple up to B251. Okay, time to Let's save the day. <laughs> Love it, Paul Shoesmith. Right, let's go save our colleagues who've gotten stuck. Oh, I don't think I've driven this tr this version before. Let's see. I'm sure it'll tell me what to do. Right, uh, I think I've got to climb on, haven't I? Climb upstairs. There's my boss. Or is it Jim? <laughs> right, let's jump into the seat. Right. Set up the locomotive. Set the reverser to backwards to head out to Sam. Oh, we're going to go the other direction. Okay. I have. This is the one I have driven on the tutorials. I think I should. My. No, that's the throttle. Oh, reverser handle in. Reverse. This is X570 requesting a track warrant from Sandpatch to Salisbury Junction. Over. Track. Okay. He's my. He's doing all the radio. X570, subject to signal indications. Proceed from Sandpatch to Salisbury Junction. Over. Okay. X570, subject to signal indications. What a beast that for this. From Sandpatch to Salisbury. Out. Set the cutout valve to freight. Oh my days. No, that's not that one. Freight. I've done that. But I don't know where to put the other switches. Trail six, lead or dead. Oh, it's doing stuff. I think in one of them it said put that to lead or dead. I'm sure you guys will help me. Uh generator on put the, release the brake and throttle set the cut set the cut out valve to freight but I've done that and it's not satisfying that checklist am I moving oh, I'm actually moving oh my days okay it's working right and we need to go backwards don't we right I we're moving that. What's the speed to be here? 15 miles an hour speed to be as well. Why is everywhere so slow? <laughs> right, let's go pick up our colleagues. <laughs> Batsim is here, is in he even aviation? Absolutely. We'll check out my diesel. This is a beast. Hey, hold on. Let's just have a haul. I think it does. It's down here, isn't it? Where is it? Bell. Okay, where's the horn? Ah! I can't hear it! Oh, I'm sure it's very loud outside. Right, I'll turn the bloody bell off. Excellent! So, our mission today then, we've got to drive to here. And then I guess we're going to have to go and pick up our friends. Let me just check the mission again, guys. Sorry. Stop at location. Put the reverse into forwards. Yolder. Stop. Contact dispatcher. We've only got a couple 52 vehicles. Oh, then I'm gonna... I've not actually... I've done some missions on this, but it's just shunting six carriages around. I've got flashing lights. I'm not sure I'm meant to have those flashing lights on. Oh, that's a red light! Oh! That's a red! Uh, idle. Stop! Oh no, I don't want to lose any points. Well, he's not seeing... Look at that. It's yellow. It says red to me. You got a yellow. Oh, was it yellow beforehand? <laughs> God, no. Is it fine? Can I go? It's yellow. The next one is red. You can go. If it's red. Oh, God. Okay. Red's the next one. Right. I'm going backwards again. Throttle to two. I know if you do more than that, it starts wheel spinning. I 
can open this. I love it how you can just like open all the windows. And just... I'm... Oh dear. Right, keep going. Thanks, guys. Now, and understand, now, this isn't one of the missions, please tell me, guys, where I have to switch the things, because on one of the missions, you have to actually physically switch the railway sig uh, direction over yourself manually. If you don't, I didn't do it, and then all of a sudden there's a train coming towards me. <laughs> Wheels spin, apply sand. Yeah, I, I was wondering what that was for, and I did look it up online, because I had no idea. I was like, why is there sand? <laughs> and I was like, oh, it gives you grip. Right, anyway, on our way. Oh, we've got a fast speed limit now, so we'll crank up the crank up the old 2,000 horsepower engine. There we are, listen to that beast. And have I got to be on to stop at the... Oh, actually, let's not go too fast, we're going to stop soon. What a beast. Hypoxia, close that window, we're not at 37,000 feet, David. <laughs> Guys, if you watching, enjoy watching a 737 skipper find his way around a diesel locomotive, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button as well. You can subscribe, step for David Leeds, Fly Deck to Sim, gaming content. Main channel's over at Fly Deck to Sim, but I do love jumping over here to do some fun games. It's pretty fun. I'm enjoying this. Right, I need to get ready to stop though. Oh, yeah, that's definitely start braking. Maybe a little bit. Is this the only brake? Am I meant to be using other brakes? Oh, don't tell me I've stopped just a bit too sh so short. Oh, are you choking? Unbelievable. Is it going to roll towards it? No, it's going to roll the other way because it's a slight gradient. Unbelievable. I would roll, but it's the gradient's the wrong way. Maybe do I have to put my train right over it instead of the one in front? Just let it come to a little stop there with the break. Initial reduction. Put the reverse into forwards and then head towards Salesbury. So I guess someone's going to change the uh, signal or whatever, the, the junction or whatever it's called. Right. Release it. And I'm going to get the gas on. Oh, and it was green, wasn't it? I did see it. Oh, look, you can press the arrows. Look around. Yeah, green. So I guess that's green for me, and then red, obviously, to anyone else is on the other line. Uh, John M. Usual, usually two brakes on a loco. One is the loco brake, and two is the train brake. So when I have all these carriages on... Oh, oh I'm, <laughs> I'm in the wrong seat here. Hold on. Um, which one am I meant to be using? I've been just using this massive red brake, the automatic brake, and there's an independent brake. I honestly, I'm, I'm just going to use the keep using the big red one. Right, and again, that's red, but I'm going to be switching lines now because that for me says stop. I've got five miles to go as well. I can't be going at 25 miles an hour. But. But the, I don't understand, like, who's that for? I mean, I'm guessing it's not for me, because it doesn't say stop here or anything. Is that to the person on this line? I'm not sure. I could go a little bit faster, maybe, guys. Go up to 30 miles an hour. The red one is correct. The train brake is better for hauling trains and coaches. Captain, think you need to come out for a proper cab ride. Oh, I'd love to, John. I'd love to go on a train. In fact, my stepbrother, um, I got him for his... Christmas present. No, his 30th birthday. 30th, uh, a couple of years, well, a year ago now. He started using it because of the pandemic. A train driving experience. He said he'd take me with him as part of the gift. And I was like, I can't wait to do it. It's quite away from here, but uh, quite, quite fun. I have no idea about American signals. <laughs> ah, okay. Signal for line to left. Okay. Look at that. Look at that acceleration right on the speed limit. 35 miles an hour. A little bit, little bit of brake look because we are going 1.2% uh, on a 1.2% gradient here. I'm going to be going speeding. Look, want to get maximum points for the achievement. Oh, it really is running away here. Now, you imagine like 
the management of the trains on these lines. I mean, this train, I don't know what this train weighs on its own, but I've got two of them. And you've got 56 carriages fully loaded with coal or whatever. You've got to really be careful with the, the energy. I mean, the amount of stopping force you need to bring that to a stop on the downhill, especially. Look, I've got the brakes off here. Look, it's just accelerating on its own. There's huge amounts of energy involved. The scenery. Well, I guess you just have to keep cycling the brake. Jake, morning, you have your first flying lesson on the 17th. Superb, how exciting. Good play. Enjoy that, buddy. That's uh, very, very cool. Let's do some of the external views. I know, yeah, there's the, there's the flyby view. Check out the diesel. So it's so much better than their, their other one, the Train Sim 2021, which I know is not 2021, they just update the number. I was told to get this one. Wicked. I'm doing everything properly, look. I'm a pro. Derail Valley next stream, that's that way you can really experience the pain of power management on long trains. I've uh, seen Finn play that in Discord. Thirty-five miles an hour. So next speed limit. Oh, what does that one mean again? Oh, the yellow, it says be careful because it could does that actually mean like it could change to red or be careful of the next one? Oh no, that's the front with the brake. <laughs> Whoops. Look at those two confused. Bro, he says, Captain, try and derail value on my summer car. Just a humble suggestion, and you are pro. Fuck. <laughs> Just play the street about 30 minutes, Bro, he's to reassess your judgment. <laughs> Caution next signal is at danger. Yellow means next signal after maybe raid. Maybe red. So you can go through a yellow, but just be careful because it might be red next. And another question. Ge a general curiosity. This is, you know, quite interesting because planes, trains, or, you know, uh, driver, regardless of, of what you fly or drive, kind of got similar interests here. Um, yellow means the next one's red. So do you start slowing down if you're going quite fast? Imagine you're doing 125 miles an hour and you go past a yellow signal. How soon is it before you? know that the next one's ready, is it can you, can you only visually see it or do you have like a little system on the train that says ah the next signal is red? It's obviously it's very important that you respect those signals. This is wicked. I forgot I said I was reading about this train line and it was built in the uh, 1800s. Know where signals are. Okay. There you go. This is pretty steep slope. Is there a limit as well to a, what the maximum slope they can have to build a railway line? I mean, obviously the underground ones are quite steep. Oh, look, there's our yellow lights. Okay. So obviously this is really helpful having the HUD. I know this is kind of cheating, but I'm a noob. I'm gonna have it on. I might try it off on the street. So it's gone yellow, and the next one's yellow as well. So I think that's okay. Uh, Paul, drivers are required to know the locations for all signals. Ah, very interesting. I have route knowledge. Route knowledge. Can visually see signal, but it's dependent on your route location. How well you've learned the location of all things, signals, gradients, etc. Very interesting. John M, no, next is red. I oh, really? I just see that this one is yellow on here because I, that's a cheating mode. I'll be careful though. I will slow down a little bit when we get there. There's our destination. We wiggle our way on this line. It's really cool. This is where all the shunting was. I did it on the missions. There's so many lines that you have to be really careful which ones you choose. Oops, I'm speeding. Do you train drivers have line checks as well? So do you have to be checked like every six months to a year with, uh, with someone like sat next to you making sure you're doing your job properly? 
That's so cool, I've got so many train drivers in chat. <laughs> I'm genuinely really curious. <laughs> Karen, yes, we know the route and we're assessed on the route signal stations, gradient stop speeds. Very cool. Graphics in this are incredible. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, I think most of you know much more about this game than I do, but this is Train Sim World 2. I think it's the. Dovetail made the Train Simulator other one as well, but this is their newest version. But I was told. Uh, yeah, I know there isn't as much DLC and lines and stuff, but the older one is a bit outdated. doesn't look quite so good. The interface is a bit outdated. This one looks a bit nicer. They have regular assessments. Very cool, Adam. I'd love to. I genuinely, if, if if it was ever possible, I'd love to go to one of you guys. I'd honestly, and I know you would love to too. I'd swap a day flying the 737 to, to drive a train, and you guys obviously would love to swap a day driving a train to fly the 737 for sure. I'd I'd love to. I genuinely do it. I'd, even a week, I'd be like, "Do you want to drive a train for a week?" I'll be like, uh, "Yeah, <laughs> I'll swap with you." Adam says. Use a dynamic brake rather than the train brake. Is that this one? Do you ever ride the brakes? So obviously I'm cycling the brakes off on off on, but do you ever like ride them so just to hold the speed? Ethan, fun fact, do you know Dovetail had a flight sim? Yeah, they had flight sim worlds. I even bought it. You know, <laughs> before like, my stream was my channel was even bought. Uh, but it was sort of FSX, wasn't it, really? Right, I'm going to try this other... What does this brake do? Uh, I start... Ooh! Okay. So, uh, how do... I really don't understand the difference between the two. But I'm... Hiya. Oh, God, Mariner! Jesus Christ, use dynamic brake for riding the brake. Now, that's independent brake. That's automatic brake. Ah, dynamic brake. Hi, Mary, and I'm playing Tracer, but I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So, what's the difference? I'm going to use Dynamic Brake 1 then just to hold. Ooh, need more Dynamic Brake. Why is that not doing anything? I've got full Dynamic Brake, but it's not slowing down. What do I need to do? Uh, sorry. I'm sure I've done. I've, well, obviously, I've done something there. I've done, used Dynamic Brake, but my Dynamic Brake's not doing anything. Oscar, what Stone Age machine is is this? Uh, I don't know what that question means. Um, <laughs> it's it's a CSX. I think that's the name of the company, though. It's it's a one of these. So sorry, I can't give you much more information. No doubt, someone in chat will help you answer this question. How is your course? Okay. Yeah, good. Good. This is good fun. Okay, enjoy. Addy H O C two says hi and Domino Bo see you Where's the auto brakes in Sydney Bob? Uh, I'm so sorry I'm using the wrong brake here. Ah, Kieran, Dino brake uses the motor to slow down basically, saves heating at the pads. It takes time to kick in on these ones. Independent brake is the brakes on just the loco. Automatic is the whole train. Uh, okay. Speed into vents. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, get the speed brake out. I think a speed brake would be very effective on a very heavy train. Ah, so so dynamic brake. If I just kind of like, let's just leave it on a bit there. And that uses the power of the train, I guess, to... I would put it into setup and wait for a while. Ah, and which one of these is the... the... Alright, I'll have to use the other one. I'll leave it in setup. This, this is really interesting, guys. So red is the entire train, this is just the locomotive, and that's using the power of the engine to slow the train down. Got it. Now move it to maintain your speed, okay. Maybe I need a monitor in setup, guys. Look, it's on eight, and it's still running away. I'll put it back in setup. I only got a mile to go, guys. Anyway, 
Oh, oh God, it's, uh, it's a good job I wasn't paying attention. Look, the signal's red. God, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's completely flat now, look. Open my window. Stick my head out, look. Sweet. Uh, wait for fans to kick in before adding dynamic brakes. You have to put it into setup first. Oh, this, this is actually going a little bit uphill, but I need to get ready to stop here. Look, thank God for that. If I didn't, ha if I had it like this, I wouldn't have known. June, your stream is so chill compared to the other streamers. Well, thank you, buddy. We are very chill here at uh, Fly Deck to Sim. But I must stress, I have this, this is my first time, first time playing this game. First time playing this game. Better start slowing down at 700 yards to the red signal. Oh, I'm cheating having that on, it's so useful. It's just his driver getting everyone nervous. <laughs> Haven't hit a helicopter yet, though, no, that's for the Euro Truck Sim streams. We'll do a little noise soon. This is Alpaca Haulage. Yes, we've got uh, Belugas and uh, Trades. I'm going very slow, I probably slowed down a bit too early. Fifty yards to go. Oh no! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it slows down very quickly, but I bet it won't do that with fifty carriages on. I bet with fifty carriages, you've really got to plan ahead. Oh, I've slowed down a little bit too early. Oh, come on, just let it roll. I mean, I guess it's not going to change until I get right on there for the mission. Dynamic brake. Ah, dynamic brake is still on. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, so yes. Understood. Back to root knowledge. Thanks, guys. <laughs> right, we'll just kind of crawl up to the, to the stop sign. <laughs> does train sim allow for hotkeys throttle? You have to use the mouse. It does have hotkeys, yes. I've been using them. I did it on the other one a lot more than not so much this, this one. Do it a second. Initial reduction. Are you joking? Oh! <laughs> oh no. Uh, that'll do, I think. Yes! Now I have to wait for the signal to go green, I guess, or yellow. Press tab to bring the dispatcher menu. Contact signaler. Proceed at restricted speed. So now the signaler has said that, does that mean I can continue even though it's red? I'll wait for verification <laughs> in chat. Signal won't change if you're going to see a rescue chain. Oh yes, we're rescuing, aren't we? Right, let's. All right. Ah, so you are clear to pass the signal at danger, but at a speed that shows you stop visually. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Yeah, sorry, I can actually. I can use my. We'll go sensible speed then, because I guess I'm just going to be connecting to these trains. So this is authority to pass a red signal. Got you. It's really cool that they've they've modelled this stuff. Uh, 
Alpaca International Rescue. <laughs> Apple Power will be fine. Don't look, I'm only 280 yards away, list of it from the carriages. What's the speed at which I can hit it? I mean, there must be a point at which you, you can't go too fast. I'm thinking 9 mile an hour is too fast. I definitely want to go front line. I'm downhill here as well. But... Whole pack of Thunderbirds. John M points set correctly. I think it does it for you on these missions automatically. Jam and Toga. Right. There is another train here. Carrying. I need to be careful here. Driving under speed limit. Look at all the points I'm getting. Oh, I should be doing the honky's horn at me. Stop six foot. Oh, stop six feet away and then inch on. Got me. Better start slowing down. I can't remember what the the keyboard is for brakes. Is that been quite useful? Oh, that'll do. Look, three miles an hour. Surely that's not going to be too bad. Oh, it's going to be tough towing this. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we are, connected. Wait a moment. Set the reverser to neutral. Set the order brake to handle off. off. Set the cutout switch to cut. Thank god let's forget this for this. Set the MU2A valve to trail 6. So I'm guessing this switch off the engine so I guess we're not using this train to tow it. Oh, is that the end of the mission? Switch off the engine run. Generator field and fuel pump. Set the headlights be controlled for another unit. Set the radio views to off. Oh my goodness me, look at all this stuff. And it's all modelled. Change cabs in order to head back to Cumberland Trail. Okay. Ah. There's a lot to do, I know, simply Bob. Right, let's get out of my train. You come back with me, Jim. Let's go. Oh, it's loud. This is cool. Climb down steps. Well, I've got to be careful here. There's a train going past. How do I... Oh, have I got... Oh, I don't probably was about to get off there. Let's get, get back on the train. There we are. My own now. Okay, so set the headlight control to the coupled at the long hood end. Switch on the engine run generator field and fuel pump. Engine run on, fuel generators on. Activate required lights on the locomotive. Use the instrument lights and ditch lights on. Oh, any other lights? This hasn't, uh, hasn't ticked it yet, look. Poor Jim being left alone. <laughs> oh, Jim's teleported in. Yeah, I've just realised. Activate required lights on the locomotive. What other lights do I need? Oh, some more here, look. Definitely bright. There we are. Set the MUTA valve to lead, so this is telling us, I guess, that we're the, the front train. Lead or dead, so I guess at the front or the back. Set the banking com to on to distribute power across all locomotives. Oh my god. Set the banking com to on to distribute power. To... Oh my goodness. Set the cutout switch to freight. Apply independent brakes to at least 30%. Set the automatic brake to release. Raise the brake pipe pressure to 79 psi. Oh my goodness me. 
So I guess I've got to charge the brakes for all the carriages. Is that charging automatically? Or how do, how do I do this one, guys? <laughs> Raise the brake by pressure to above 79 psi. Oh, it's still doing stuff. So gauge. Oh, oh, I can see one charging. He's getting it. I'm not really Adam. I'm following the tutorial. I have no clue what any of those things are doing. Thanks for subscribing, Barrio. Welcome to the channel. How oh, how many carriages was it? 50? Oh, hello as well to uh, Mattis's. Yep, blowing break off. It's still rising. Carry Minol subscribed as well. Is that a 79? 80? Yes, it has. Set the reverser to forward. Uh, put my... There we are. Oh, so cool. One, requesting a track warrant from Salisbury Junction to Cumberland. Over. Is that my voice or is that Jim's? That's Jim's, I think. Ah, it's gonna wait for another train. B two five one, subject to signal indications, proceeding from Salisbury Junction as far as Sandpatch. Out. Okay. So release the brake and increase throttle, but there's no point, look, because I've got a red light, look, 120 yards. Now, before I do that, I want to just see how big my train is. So I'm, I think it's absolutely massive. Did it say it was like 50 carriages? And I think I can, I think I can zoom. Oh, no, 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 no. I've accidentally moved stuff in the train here. Off. I just want to have a look at the size of my train first. How do I... That's That's not what I wanted, I think. I just wanted to see yeah, let's show you my train. Look at the length of this carriage. It goes for on and on and on. Oh my god, I've got to tow this! And there's the rear of the train. That's how big my train is, and it's full of coal. How much does this weigh? It must be I don't even want to know how many tons. Press 3 twice to go to the back. Okay. Well, I've managed to show the entire train. There we go. Right. Back in we go. Let's see how to do this then. So, release the brakes and increase the throttle. Right. Oh, is that released? Oh, we're moving backwards. Yeah, I think it is. Right. Throttle. Let's just do one initially. Oh, it's moving straight away, but it's going to then take up the slack, hasn't it, for all the carriages? Oh, oh and that yellow means I can go, doesn't it? Look, at you can see it's like taking up the slack. Oh. Bit more power. Not sure if I can crank it up. Ooh, I'm doing a mile an hour, but. Huge Now those carriages at the back, I think I know it said they were broken down, so I think we're towing one as well. But when they're taking these huge loads, would they have two at the back, two at the front, and two at the back, two front, two pushing as well? So they're all using it. Uh, yep, signals off. Perfect. Well, let's go. I think I can risk a little bit more power here. Look how slow it is. Come on, let's go! <laughs> That's a serious load we've got here as well. 50 carriage is not as unusually large load for a freight train. Oh, really? Yeah, I know they do massive ones, can they? Yeah, can't they? Oh, yeah, that's the rear of the train, I think. Why's the flyby view? There it is. Just have a 
rough idea of the size of this thing. Look. Look at this. What a beast. So that red lever in the train, when I pull that red lever, it will activate the brakes of all of these carriages. And how long is it going to take me to slow down? Because I have got a red in two miles. I want to just... I'm just going to have a little play here, because I'm not sure about how quickly I can stop. So I'm just going to go throttle to idle. I'm just going to go to, like, 48%. Oh my goodness me! I mean, it's slowing. Nine... Eight. Okay, I just want to see. I mean, I bet it could s stop quicker if I wanted it to. So I just want to see how. Yeah, okay. So you really have to think ahead. Okay, let's go again. Don't forget the running brake test. Is that what I've just done? <laughs> Do I keep power on or you're, you're going uphill? Ah, well, yeah, yeah, I guess it will go uphill in a bit. And I guess if you stop, maybe you haven't got the inertia to keep going. Oh, just imagine. Oh, look at that. I'm on three. We're not going anywhere. Uh, Kieran, yeah, although it takes time for the air to travel through the train, so you won't instantly get brakes on all the carriages. Likewise, to release will take time for the entire train to release its brakes. Very cool. Staple view, please, said Javelin. There you go. <laughs> although it's only around the train. It is a pretty. It looks great. Adam says eight notches. Right, feel free to use them. All right, let's go. Let's drive. I've never actually gone full power. It's not going to wheel spin, is it? Full power. It's a little wheel spin like that. Oh wow, we we're, we're moving. And oh, there's my colleague. It's actually accelerating far quicker than uh, I thought it would do. If wheel spin, if wheel spin, then sand. <laughs> oh, do I just sand indicator? How do I actually? Oh, here. Yeah. Lead sand and sand. Oh my. <laughs> right. I think we're okay here. This is full power. Up to nearly 20 miles an hour. And the signal's gone yellow, that's good. Wow, I'm reading about a train that had 682 cargo cars, wow. The speed limit's 25, no need to chug along at 10. We're on our way, we're on our way. Signal good, keep power on, I will. And we are going uphill now as well, that full power. It's a good job we really applied that. Someone's my view. The view's there, but there's another train in the way. <laughs> oh, I can't control the cameras in this game. Oh, you press the three. That's the rear of the train. Ah! So, I think what they're simulating is one of these trains is broken down, look. There's no diesel, there's no smoke coming out of it, is there? I don't think. There is out of this one. That's better. up to the speed limit here. It's only taken us about five minutes, but it's actually accelerating quicker than I thought it would. But yeah, going downhill could be interesting. Cool. Crack the power down a bit, because we're approaching 35 miles an hour. I don't have I been speeding yet on this mission? I don't think we have. 
And look, more points for driving over the speed limit. Sounds like the tail loco is US. Yeah, I think that was the story of it, John Emmett. It says we had to go pick them up because one of the locos was broken down. So I guess the rear one of those is still helping us. Then we have two in front, but I don't know anything about any of this. How would you get points for going over the speed limit too? I know. You should check out our first mission. <laughs> Very cool. That's just so ridiculous. Makes a beluga look cute in comparison. Look how long this is. Ben, wait a minute, that's a funny looking Simo mod. I'm keeping an eye on that signal look. Oh look, I'm actually full power and the train's slowing down look. Uh oh. Because of the 1.2% gradient. Do I need some sand? <laughs> Just gotta show you how long this train is. Uh, look at my spin. Oh, looks a red signal 2.5 miles. I'm gonna try and get the full length of this train. It's getting a bit louder, so it could be the rear. There it is, look. That's the whole train. Look at that. Right, yeah, signal. But I also need to be careful of the fact we're going uphill as well. Is this, gif is this a GIF loop? <laughs> so I've got to be careful here because obviously this is an uphill gradient. The fact that I'm slowing down of power I know it sounds silly, but it's bringing down. Wheel, it says it's been wheel spinning, so I probably should just keep it at full power. It's a balancing act now. Thanks, John. <laughs> I think I'll keep it at full power with the gradient. We can, we're in fact we're slowing down. I definitely want to start braking. <laughs> Watch out for ground effects. Unbelievable. I think if anything that doesn't have ground effect is a train that weighs thousands of tons. <laughs> Two miles to go. What if I honk my horn with the window open? It'll be louder. It's, de it's, it's uh, disappointingly quiet. All right, 19 miles an hour. Uh oh. The nuke says I'm curious to see how he does with the PZB. What's that, John M? What not you in? I'm in full power. I'm in eight, and I'm slowing down. Oh, the signal is at least no longer red, so I'm just leaving it full power, I guess. Flat 30, yep, great. <laughs> uh. Ben, what route are you doing? Sorry, just got in from work, uh, so trying to catch up. Um, hold on, let me just, I'll go to the menu very quickly. Sorry to do the immersion. So, uh, going from, we're going to Sandpatch and then stopping off here and doing some other bits. <laughs> That's as much as I know. Try going off of full power and go back to full power. John M says, next signal off, keep powering on. And it, honestly, is this what it's like for these guys on these gradients? They just have to be like, oh, I hope we've got enough power to get up this hill. Uh, pos uh, forces seem to be balancing out now. The number below the speed on that box seems to be an acceleration deceleration rate. Number below the speed on that box. At least, yeah, it seems to be holding steadily at 20 for now. You feel the weight pulling against you and feel the momentum too. Yeah, I mean, we're going uphill, that's a huge amount of energy that we have to overcome. Get that track up there. Guess signals when they keep giving you reds. <laughs> Three miles to go. Scenic route though. I feel sorry for anyone living here though. That's going to be a bit annoying. 
What's the button for the horn, by the way? Because I want to test how loud it is outside. There's the rear. Look. Ah, it's accelerating now. Look, 21 miles an hour. <laughs> Spacebar. Why didn't they make that louder? <laughs> it sets the bell off. Superb. Feel the people that have feel sorry for the people that have to cross the road. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, still going uphill here. Bell is for going over level crossings. Got you. Do I get bonus points for that? <laughs> Two tons of love says how to design sound mitigation devices for a computer train locally when they use from five meter. Interesting. Anyway, next signal is yellow. No chance for speeding. So there's the train map. A bit more of a wiggly route to take. You see all the carriages being towed as well. I don't know. Oops. I don't know if it's a stop or it's just a get to this next place here. I think that means stop, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll have to look at some of the DLC perhaps. So I'd like to do some. We've not actually done any proper passenger train routes yet, and I don't think there's any. I don't know there's a German train one. I'd like to do some of the UK train lines. Some of the trains I perhaps went on in my, my uh, past would be quite cool. To explain what PZB is from earlier, it's something on German trains. You're going to have to do further research on your own. <laughs> Sounds like it. I'm hoping you'd explain it to me here. Oh, what's that? A red signal. Oh, yeah, but I think that's the other train line, isn't it? Yes, look, we have yellow and green. Good, I guess. Oh, look, the gradient's increasing again. So what is yellow on top and then green? I mean, it's saying yellow here, but what? I don't know. Approach briefing. <laughs> hey, press the N key. Come on, come on. But no information now regarding next signals. That looks like a repeater to me. Is that some sort of rifle? <laughs> what was this? Ah! Well, you have to manually control the wipers. What's this wiper handle? Is that just to position it? <laughs> it's so old school in here. And I really wish he would stop looking at me like that when I'm <laughs> fiddling around. Not everything, I recommend South East and High Speed, Great Western Express and the Isle of Wight. I did see some of the DLC on that. Three miles next signal. However, in 1.7 miles, I think that's a stop, isn't it? This is the train equivalent of a 737-200. We've been full power for the last oh, I don't know, 10 minutes. Please, looking in wonder and amazement. 
see, every time I'm looking at him, he quickly looks away. Well, he's not now, he's actually staring right in the eye. <laughs> Still going uphill, though. I know, but look at this 1.5% gradient. We've been going uphill continuously. As Stuart J, in the real world, they blast the horn over crossing and leave the bell ring for it builds up areas. I've seen lots of videos where trains pummel into the side of cars stuck on crossings. Keep coming up on my YouTube recommended. Run eight. Does that, does that mean I'm, I'm meant to be? At, I am at eight. Full power. I think that's what you mean. Well, I've got one and a half miles to go still. And I'm just going to check, guys, if this is a is that a stop or a stop at location? Yes. Right. I'll need to plan this ahead because I'm going uphill. If I stop too soon, I'm not going to have enough traction to get up the hill. This is this is hard. You've got to think about this. What's this? Is this your rate of change? Because that was my next question, because it would be quite useful to see like, if you're accelerating or decelerating. Because it's quite hard with just a single digit mile an hour sign. It's going up and up and up, I know. It's actually a bit easier though, because if it was going downhill, I'd have to keep balancing these brakes, which I don't exactly know how they work. Uh, John, the American signal system method of work is quite different to the UK one, which is what I guess Kieran Adam and myself are used to. Ah. Oh, sorry, Run 8 is the American Railroad Simulator. Sorry, I thought that was to do with the gear I'm in or whatever. <laughs> oh, it's your, it's your uh, medical speed indicator. Very cool. Got you. If you go any higher, I'll need to pressurise the cabin. Only a mile to go before we need to stop. Now, any advice, guys? At what point do I start thinking about slowing down? Because obviously, gravity is going to be a huge assistance here because we're still going up here. You need a repeat signal, which can only show yellow and green. So you get green, yellow, then red. Ah, ah there's some people working on the side of the railway here, it looks like. Not sure how the brakes work. Inspiring statement from the driver. From the driver. Oh dear. Is that uh, digging up the road? Right, less than a mile to go. Oh, at uh, great crossing. She needs to do two long blasts and a short one, a long one again. Well, just for the. It's, it's a bit. Uh, I know we've already passed it, but uh, there you go. Brr, brr, brr. Uh, go full F1 put pit stop full power till just before the slam the anchors on. <laughs> right, I've only got 0 0.7 mile. I need to start thinking about slowing down. I'm sure I need to start thinking about slowing. Let me just turn the throttle down slightly. If I can maintain about 10 miles an hour coming in, that might help. Oh, have I done that too early? Oh, have I done that too early? 17 miles an hour. Ooh, I think I might have been slowing down a bit early here. 16. Let's go to six. Still going uphill. Yeah, you're right. One full power. It was a little bit ambitious there. Half a mile to go. He's not said a word. <laughs> Knock off, but try to use the momentum to keep you rolling. Got you. I think keep it, if we keep it around 15-ish, maybe. It's getting steeper, yeah. Half a mile to go. If you come to a stand uh, to a standstill, you'll struggle to get going. Yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, should be gone. <laughs> What's up with your co-engineer's neck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the 
that's very long. I bet, how scary would he be? I bet if I'm looking out the window, he's extended his neck out and have a look left, his head's right there. Really scary. <laughs> well spotted, Stuart. Oh, 900 yards. What's lock of the train or Jim's neck? <laughs> He's creeping me out. <laughs> I swear he's getting longer his neck as well. 750 yards, still going uphill. Uh, what point do I... Well, he seems to be getting a bit flatter here though, but the oh, rest of the train obviously is still got to get up that hill there. Right, let's, I'm just going to take it down. Let's go to three, just to kind of get it down to around 10-ish miles an hour, but look Still slow, starting out way too quick. Six. <laughs> if I get it down to ten, let's stop slowing down so quick now. I want to try and get it right on the money. Too soon. 11 miles an hour. 10. Yeah, that's way too soon. Power. Oh, I like how it's gone to decimal points for the speed now. That's helpful. Need to be doing about 10 miles an hour at 200, 200 yards. Let's see. Crap. So good to start. Let's go to power idle now. Well, not all the way. We'll see what happens. That might be okay. I like the rate at which it's slowing down. It's looking okay. Green, but I need to stop here, I think, for the mission to... Right, there's holding 3.8, 3.7, 3.6, I think that's a, that'll be fine to get there. It's cleared, I, I, I know, job. I think I have to stop here anyway. Stop at location for the, the, the game to do the next thing. train hasn't been in long enough when you came to stop press the train while start dragging you backwards. Okay, I'm going to put the brake on as soon as I've stopped. Like, idle. Oh, come on. I'll put it on full service. Don't tell me. Yes! Ha-ha! Uh, I've done it! <laughs> right. This is B251 requesting a track board from Sandpatch to Cumberland. Thanks, Jim. Over. B251, subject to signal indications received from Sandpatch to Cumberland. Over. I should become a freight driver, freight train driver. I, I've got it. <laughs> B251, subject to signal indications proceeding from Sandpatch to Cumberland. Right. Out. I think we're all good for the signal indications. Stop at location. 15 miles? Oh my goodness me, it's a long one. Uh, well, we'll get there as soon as we can, we'll get some speed up. I did say it was about an hour and a half or two hours it, for this mission. Right. I'm going to put the throttle on first before getting the, the brakes released so we don't roll backwards. And we're already going forward. Oh, you can see, I love it. You can see how it moves. I think it's just pulling all the carriages. Oh, we're actually going backwards. I'm going backwards. Oh, wheel spinning, look! Sand! I've got wheel spin. <laughs> Put my sand on, look. Is that too much power, perhaps? I can't see the spinning. Oh no. I 
think full power is going to be too much. Uh, obviously, got sand indicator. Oh, uh, oh, I might want to run out of sand though. Is that okay? Oh, how do I turn my sand indicator off? I'm going to dump it. I'm going to have no more sand left. <laughs> All the workers will be able to build sand castles. Well, I don't have any wheel slip anymore. How do I turn this off? I think we're okay. And I've got a green light. Yeah, the top light's green and it says green here. Full power. <laughs> Everyone's saying full power. Okay, let's try again. Ah, uh, wheel spin. And the speed, oh look, my speed's going back. No, I don't want to go full power. I think it's a fine balance between wheel spinning and, oh my days. <laughs> I think four's working out nice. Have I run out of sand now? Is that why the sand light's gone off? I hope not. Oh no, it's fine. I still have sand. Right, let's just go up a notch to five, six maybe. Right, sand. That's it, yes. Grip tire, grip wheels. Oh. oh, look at the wheels! It's still spinning. I think that's a bit too much power. I think four's going to be enough. We're going to get there, guys. Two miles, <laughs> two miles an hour. Oh no! <laughs> Can someone push? <laughs> you want to try where the rails are? I see. Oh my days! This is four, but I can't. I can't go any more than that, it's not, and it's still slowing down. Whose idea was it to do this one? Throttle 5? Come on. Have some sand, sir. That's it. 2? Yes, that's it. It's accelerating. Oh, what's that doing? It's looking a bit glitchy. That wheel slipping, so I'm going to hold the sand down. As soon as I let go, look, wheel slip, sand. Come on. Give me, give me 5 miles an hour. Don't rush it. As soon as I let go of the sand. Oh, 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 look. I'm not going to add more power though. 2.6. 2.7? 2 2.7, 2 .7, we're on our way. I think so, Jamalin. Yeah, I think just use 4 initially, and then when you get going, add the power. But if you put the power in too early, obviously it's just going um, to spin there. But up to 3 miles an hour. We're on power at five at the moment. Three. It's not going backwards, that's the important thing. We're not going <laughs> we don't have much velocity here. <laughs> Come on. Why did we have to stop on the vertical piece? Right, let's should we can I risk another notch of power? Let's try it. No, whoa, straight back to five. Yeah, six, it just started wheel spinning again. Yeah, 50 miles an hour at this speed will take a while. Three miles an hour, Javelin. <laughs> take us five hours to get there. <laughs> right, we're up to four miles an hour now. Hello, here, GJ. Put sand on. Then notch up. How do I leave sand on permanently? Someone did actually say on chat, I think. Hold sand and power to five. It's like doing across the pond. <laughs> Is there a way of holding this down? Because as soon as it starts wheel spinning, I'm going to lose all my progress. Hold down the X key. Ah, thank you very much, Danuk. Right, I'm going to hold the sand down. Try from six. Yes! Come on. Have I got unlimited sand? Press lead sand. Oh, it sounds like it's permanently giving me sand now. Right. Do I risk throttle seven? Get in. Come on. Now we're now we're now we're uh, sucking diesel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote from uh, I wish I could claim. That is from Light of Duty. Hope, nope, he will run out eventually. No, I know, I don't want to. Uh, right, lead sand off then. 
okay. I think we're okay now. Up to eight miles now. I'm, just, I'm not going to risk any more. I'm just going to get get up to like 10, 11. But we are moving now. Any more red signals? Surely it'll go downhill at some point and they'll have the opposite problem. But no, we're, we, we're fine. We're up to one off maximum speed. I think we can risk full power now. Full power, no problem. <laughs> so close, <it's> wicked. <laughs> and gradient's listening. Yes, we're now full power on our way. Oh, thank goodness for that. Oh, we were in a tricky situation there. <laughs> Much more fun than the tube. <laughs> Toga, yes. Toga's in chat. Set take off for us. Let's go. Gear up. Unbelievable. Uh, you're definitely going to have to. Oh no, we're going downhill now. Yes, right. Now we've got all of the opposite problems to have. Oh dear. Clock, yeah. <laughs> right, well. Let's. Go down to six, and we're still accelerating with six now. Uh oh, so now we're going to have the the opposite problems. We enter the uh, tunnel here. Twenty miles an hour. That's better. That's going to. If we get to thirty, that's going to uh, halve our journey time. So we take a sort of thirty, fifteen miles. It takes thirty minutes. Perfect. Right, 23. How do I turn the cab on in here? Oh, I don't know where he is with the long neck man. He could be anywhere in here. Where's the cabin lighting? Oh, I can't see a thing. There's a long tunnel here. You'll definitely need that dynamic brake. Oh, I'd love to... <laughs> where is it? That's my question. Oh, no. Uh, if I have to stop, what do I do? I can't even find the lever. Press L. Oh, for God. <laughs> just imagine if I did that and then his neck, his head was just there. Like, oh. Right, thank goodness for that. Right, I need to charge my dynamic... Oh, look, uh, uh, idle power now, look, because we're about to over idle. Uh-oh. Right, let's charge my dynamic brake up, then. Set up. Uh-oh. Oh, guys, I'm going to have to use the other one, though, look. Because I'm going to over speed now. From one problem to the other. Oh, I'm actually speed I'm going to have to use this one initially. Hear it all like jaunting as all the and this one takes like, eight, a while because I think it said you have to get the air pressure to all the brakes at 26% and it's not slowing down. There it goes. Oh, is that another train? No, it's another train. It's my brakes. Right, well, look, I'm back out. The, what, I'm going to get that dynamic brake charged. And then hopefully you guys will be able to show me what to do here. But just holding this one is, is helping for now. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> it's one way to get your brakes to over here though, isn't it? Right. Brakes should be ready. Okay, let me release that because I know it takes time for it to all be released as well. So it will still... Oh no, it doesn't. It's going to be accelerating. Right, how do I use this dynamic brake then? So, it's in setup. And then, you can see now it's just beginning just to creep up again. 1.2%, 1.4 is pretty steep. Right, this, this dynamic brake I just... I'll put it on 4, see what happens. Oh, but we're going too fast, guys. There's green, we can go. Set to 1 or 2 on dynamic. I'm going to have to use the big brakes again. 32 miles an hour. I'll leave the dynamic brake on four. Stuff's done out brake, you need full brakes. Is that genuine, Greg? But I, I am, I'm at full brakes now, 33 miles an hour. Oh, it's still accelerating. It's going to take a while to kick in. Watch the little red numbers. But these ones. Oh, it's running away from me. 35. Oh, I'm going to have to go service. Oh, ah, it's got red! <laughs> Full service. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 1.7%. 
It's not working! My brake is not working! We'll show how effective the brakes are. Yeah, we're, I don't know how much. Is it 50 carriages of coal? More dynamic braking. Ah, yes, I've got other brakes, haven't I? Yes, a bit of an eight. Uh, look, it's just... I'm going to leave... The, and does this lose charge, or can I just leave it in eight? I can't remember what this one does again. Driving significantly over speed limit. Thanks for the points. It is slowly. All right, that's four. I've got four brakes here and four brakes there. Wow, if you had to stop in a quick, in a hurry, you'd be, you'd be in trouble. Where's the parachute? Wow, I can't brake any more than this apart from emergency, which which I can pull that beyond that. But oh my, oh my. At least we are moving. Yeah, we, about 10 minutes ago we couldn't get going and now we're having a real problem keeping the train under control. Everybody in crash position. It's slowly coming back. I better get a gold medal for this. I've been working so hard. <laughs> right, slowly coming back in. I'll leave that dynamic brake in 8, that's for sure. Right, 30. Let's cool these brakes off. Let's release these ones. So that dynamic brake, sorry, that, that doesn't. I don't need to recharge it. Oh, look, it's accelerating again. That 20, ooh, 28. It's holding it quite steady. You're dropping down at 1.7% with five and a half thousand tons pushing. So my little dynamic brake. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, is this realistic then? I'd just be using this along with dynamic brake to keep the uh, automatic brake. Sorry, because that's on full. Look, that's on eight. Really runs away quickly like that. <laughs> Anti the train slows as well as the IXC G733. That is one slippy add on. And that's full brakes again for a full service, full dynamic. I don't know if the feels like the dynamics are doing anything, it's probably doing as much as it can with the weight of this train going down on a steep gradient. As full service red brake and full dynamic brake. Kieran, I thought the dynamic brake was a little more effective. This is it working? <laughs> I, I don't know. Which one of these is dynamic brake? I've got all these numbers here as well. I feel like I'm overheating these brakes, though. Can you imagine the friction being generated? I wonder, with dynamic brake, do I have to have this throttle turned up? Like so, it can uh, the engine can add power because you, uh, someone said uh, put full independent brake. I have full inde oh, inde ah sorry independent brake. I'm not even used this one, have I? But I thought the red one would be doing that one as well. I've got full brakes. <laughs> There's no throttle on dynamics. Okay, thanks. I've got full everything now. Oh, <laughs> it's going to the red one. Look ah. I'm like, I'm going to have to use emergency. Well, what happens if I just put it in reverse and then power up? Uh, probably doesn't do it any good. I, I still not much more I can do here. Apart from going suppression. I've got a bit of suppression. And it's still holding at 36 here. Uh, independent brake, yeah, uh, there's no point doing that because I know the, someone said the red one does all of it, so oh, I probably don't want to bail out though. Actually, I do want to bail out. Release. Uh, emergency. Oh, uh, no, I don't feel like I should be using that. I'll leave it on suppression. Do, does nothing going in reverse. Put it into emergency and see what happens. Oh, it is, I think it's just catching up. You see, I put it in emergency a second ago and it's starting to slow down. So I guess the train's catching up. Oh dear, why is that white one... Are these meant to be turned up? They all look like they're empty. Are these meant to be charged? Assistance? <laughs> Don't put it in reverse, okay. Well, that's worked, but I think that's because the brake's kind of catching up. We're still going downhill and slowing down. Let's put it to, let's put it to service 50%. Oh, I don't want to stop. Gonna end up coming to a stop and start up a hill and struggle. I know, can't win. Oh, you've dumped all the pressure 
when you put it in emergency and it will now stop. Oh no. Oh, let's release. Ah, look, I can see I've released it and now it's recharging. Oh, whoops. Oh, I better put some power on. Dynamic break off. So I guess is it now slowly releasing the brakes? I've got power on and brake supply. Oh, what a nightmare. Oh, you have no choice. Oh, uh, no air left in the pipe to release the pressure. No power, but still on downhill slope. Okay. I think... Uh, let's go idle, foul. Oh, blast! <laughs> so how do I re... How do I get... I should never go emergency then. Right, well, it looks like the brakes are still holding, look. Because I've got uh, no power. Uh, and I see these are recharging still. So how do I actually go again? So dynamic break off. That's released. That's released. So I guess it'll start rolling at some point. Defect detectors are going to go nuts over hot brakes. Oh my god, this is hard. You know, you now know what emergency will do. <laughs> exactly, John Edwards. An educational experience. Ooh. So I know I don't need to use it unless I absolutely have to. Not sure what happens here. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know. These are still charging. Oh no, they're not charging. So let's. But we're on a hill, so it should be going down. So I guess the brakes are still on. Give it a bit of power. Okay. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness me. Is it moving? Yes. Come on. Come on. I think it's crawling forward. Yes. Even though it's downhill. High pressure releases the brakes. Releasing pressure applies brakes. Have to wait until full pressure. Ah. Well, okay, we're moving. Right. So brakes are recharged. <laughs> oh, this is hard. I've only had to use emergency brakes once so far, and it was accidental. It was going for brake step three. Oops. And when you go emergency brakes, guys, is that it? Will it fully stop the train? Don't need to do anything else. I'm just gonna go front foot long because we're going downhill. How long have we got? 14 miles? <laughs> Plan for the string to be around two and a half hours long, so so I think we, we might go to three. Might need to go and pull the strings. Look at the brake dials, please. There you go. So sorry, I got this wrong. So um someone said uh, high two tons of high pressure releases the brakes, releasing pressure applies brakes. Right, that was the other way around. I had it there. Flying a 737 is child's play in comparison. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, well, I'm going to cut the power now, look, because we're accelerating it. We're going to have the same problem as last time. <laughs> right, let's put that dynamic brake in setup again. Whatever that does. Oh, my goodness me. Let gravity do the rest for now. It's getting darker, look, as well. It's going to be night time. Coast. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, look, we're already at our... Oh, my days. Right, well, let's try that eight thing again. And I'm going to have to put these brakes on. I mean, surely, is there an indication of, like, brake temperature? So you can see how hot they're getting. I, I, this feels like I'm riding on the brakes. Because on a 737, guys, if you taxi around holding the brakes like this, they'll get very hot very quickly. So no doubt with a five, six thousand pounds, tons, six thousand tons worth of coal. Uh, it's running away again. Look. Uh, but I'm not going to put it in emergency. Uh, full service. I'm going to be so careful there. Right, full service. It makes me think the brakes are cooking. Overspeed. I'm doing everything I can here. 34 miles an hour. Full service brakes. Is it going to give me 35? It is. Oh no. <laughs> what am I meant to do? I don't know. I can't, I can't do any more than this. I'm not doing emergency again. We'll see, we'll see what happens. You imagine if I didn't have any brakes on? Throw <laughs> dynamic straight into eight this time. It's been there the whole time. 
Ah, that's where the dynamic brake seems to come in. But the dynamic brake, Jonathan Wiltshire, doesn't seem to do anything. Not with 5,000 tons of cargo going down here. I'm going for the now. <laughs> I'm sure, is this more effective? I feel like it's not doing anything. Come on, don't go any faster now. Come on, please flatten out a little bit. Can we get a flyby, please? Oh, 37 miles an hour. Yeah, you can get a flyby. Oh, I forgot what the button is. There you go. <laughs> 50 carriages. 37. Why is my dynamic brake not working? I need to slow down. I feel the dynamic braking is not working. The ammeter should move backwards. Ah, okay. Yes, it's quite a long train. <laughs> There's the rear coming up. So 51 carriages, I think it was. Uh, it's holding the speed at 37 miles an hour, 38. It's not accelerating anymore. It's good. It's working. You just need all the. You see the brakes that decent gradient. Okay. Uh, it's only affected to a certain extent if you're too heavy. You need a bit of friction brake as well. We have full friction brake. <laughs> well, apart from emergency. I'm getting loads of points for driving significantly over the speed limit though, so it's not all bad. Right, it's holding the speed now. Got 12 bars to go. Why have they changed the speed limit? Why why can't it be 35 here as well? Literally cannot do any more. Dynamic 8. I know that won't do anything because the red one does all of them. Why? Oh. It's holding 37 pretty steady. We just need a flat part of the track. So these brakes then, I, you know, that makes me think they're being constantly applied at the moment. And they're getting really hot. There isn't a bypass switch for the dynamic brake or something. Uh, in a stable descent just a bit too fast. Yes, we're accelerating again, though, 38. 39, according to the official box. Although the gradient's getting a little bit less. Uh, Kerry, it seems a bit broken. Doesn't seem right. Uh, okay. I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> so what if a lorry's crossing the track so we're in serious trouble now, Tracy? But I have got my emergency brakes. Oh, did he go for? At least the speed limit increases shortly. Yeah, I agree. Dynamic is US. Okay, so it should be doing so. Should I put it back in setup? Let's just see if it perhaps charges. Someone said I've got to leave it there to charge. I don't think it's doing. Oh, for God's sake. I don't think it's doing anything at the moment. Because I can see. Is this the. Yeah, that's the braking, like 100%. What's this one as the train brakes, but they're already going to be on, aren't they? Oh, oh. What have I done? What did that do? I really... What's bail off mean? Has that actually helped doing what I did? I'm just trying to see... That's slowing me down as well. Maybe it's like a bug in the game where it'll work. But I'm actually going 33. That's weird. Putting that brake on has helped the independent brake. Release the silver brake. Okay. That seems to help though. Bail off. The silver brake's helping. But it's slowing down now. I've left the dynamic brake on set up for a while. So if maybe that's charged. Let's whack that back at 8 see if it does anything. 
And it's got to 100%. We're not slowing down, but I just think there's more down to the, the wheel brakes. That yellow jacket guy on the left, one, the one with the stupendously long neck, you know, he's, uh, he's only watching. It's getting darker and darker here. John Padfield, how many brakes are there? Seems really complicated. Oh, don't get me started. I think you're more slowed down because of the incline reduction. I think so as well, Will. We're almost down to 25 miles an hour, actually. We're going to be going to 30 soon. I'm going to try and cool my brakes down. Let's release the brakes for a second. I know that takes ages. So I'm going to have to accelerate to 30 anyway. Not that we have much accelerating. I feel like I should have done that. I might just keep the brakes on that a little bit. 46%. But yes, you can already see the speed going. Look. Ah, look at the speed go. Back to full service. What's suppression? Hmm. Check all switches and fuses. The one controlling dynamic braking must be off or something. Oh my. There is a fuse box back here. They all look on. What's this? Warning device is off. What's that? There is one that's tripped or down. God, look at the size of those circuit breakers. F uh, fuse, sorry. Massive. Harold, I don't know if it's possible, but could you do a stream where you do a long haul train sim, pick up a Euro truck, and then haul it on the final destination? It's been suggested doing the Beluga Euro truck sim stream. And then we go to uh, drop off so we can then fly the Beluga somewhere. Jonathan, don't add the warning devices. You'll spend all your life in Okay. It's a bit annoying with the reflection on the window. I can't see. Ah, that view's nice. What can I show you for the door look? A yellow signal ahead, that's not a good sign. Hopefully it won't go red. Oh, my days. Taxi music in the background, yeah, it's on it's looping at the moment. I'm not sure it uh, from the main channel, Flight Out Sim, yeah, that's what we use at the start of the stream, taxi. Right, why well, were my brakes down? They were on full full service again. Now uh, we're beginning to overspeed. Oh god damn it! <laughs> well at least you know how to get out and jump, absolutely. Put my door here as well, a little bit easier access to leave. These guys probably drive with the wind doors open when it's hot. to go 12 miles <laughs> oh yeah the independent braking is uh yeah let me just try that again because that did do something last time let me just put that to full braking and see what happens just uh, i know it shouldn't do it should it because that's just the lo someone said that's just the locomotive one oh signal's gone green excellent Speed limit is going to increase slightly as well. You'll destroy the wheel sets on the loco. Ah, off! Fail off, fail off. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Well, independent brake is only for when you're holding or when you have no load. Okay. Won't touch that one again. At least the speeding will bring us to our destination a little bit quicker. Only 12 miles to go. Although we are up to 40, and we seem to be accelerating still. I do not want to derail. Oh no, 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 no don't go beyond full service. And that's on 8. 41 miles an hour. Oh, come on. I can't do anything else. 42. It seems to be accelerating quicker. And it's not dealing with the gradient as well. 43, is that because my brakes are shot? Oh. The, the resistive braking isn't doing anything. I'll put it back into off again. Or is it set up to charge it? 
It's not doing anything. Oh, 46. I, I'm getting a bit concerned about the speed now. I do not want to derail. 47. Uh, check your fuses. I think I'm going to have to use a little bit of emergency here. If it goes to 48. Yeah, 48. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. service it's been on full service uh, continuously John M <laughs> right oh dear oh no it's oh dear that was that was getting a bit sketchy though lift brake back to full service maybe it won't come up it won't be hopefully it won't do a full stop but someone said I've got to charge the kind of charge it again haven't I my days. Sand? Do you sand slow down as well? Sound the whole of prey. Oh, my days. Well, we slowed down to the correct speed of it the first time, but that's because the emergency brake pressure is still in here. Ah, oh, engineer, ah, another day at work. <laughs> this is really hard. I didn't think it'd be as hard as this. I had no choice to use the emergency brake. We're doing only 50 miles an hour. And I've, I've got to bring it to a stop again, haven't I? To charge this. Oh, blast. Yeah, that's it's working. That was my emergency brake, though, wasn't it? Me firing off the emergency brake. That's why we're still slowing down. Sand, yes, you can get torqued when these brakes get worse. Don't even try to brake again. But these are the emergency brakes working, aren't they? Where on the flight deck to some Atlas are we? Uh, I think it's Pennsylvania, isn't it, this train route? Oh dear. Right, just remind me how to recharge the brakes again. No, keep rolling. How do I do this? Just release all the brakes? Oh yes, that's recharging it, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> Speed nicely under control. Yeah, but that's only because I use the emergency brakes. Back to release. Oh, I should have done that a bit sooner. We're just going to come to a stop now, aren't we? Don't get to a standstill. Uh oh. Come on, release. Release the pressure. I've got red needles moving. I've got white needles moving. Oh, no, we're never going to get there. <laughs> Blast this game. I just want to do passenger trains, not whopping great big 5,000 ton cargo trains. Dynamic brake does nothing, gets me on set up all day, turn it off, throttle on, and then I'm gonna have to turn it off again, and then use emergency brakes. Oh my days. Right, come on, brake pressure, come on in again. John O'Cab is great fun on this. Oh. <laughs> Got more than I can chew. I said, let's do this one, no one objected, and some people said, yes, it'd be a great one. And then I'm going to have wheel spin, even though we're facing downhill. The sun's going to be setting, I get fired. Yes, thanks for reminding me, John. I'll forget to get in 10 minutes. The red needle in the right gauge is the target pressure. <laughs> okay. The white needle is what's in the pipe, so hold it on, release until it pressurizes. Okay. Alright, I think we're moving again. Look. Fun fact, trains are long. So complicated. What an electric train next, which is a you know, start stop. <laughs> I remember about I said we've only got 15 miles to go. I think next time I'm just gonna let the train run off. I don't need any more throttle, it's just gonna roll down anyway. Oh my goodness. Slightly less carriages, though, I think. No power coast, save fuel. <laughs> John M, I think saving fuel is my least. Uh, 
least concern at the moment. But you're quite right. Look, it's already accelerating away. It's going to go to 30 miles an hour. I'll put the brakes. I'll, I'll put that into setup again. But I haven't seen this thing do anything. But maybe there's a switch I'm missing. Try set up dynamic brake before you get too fast. Yeah. Well, I've had it set up. I'm going to put the main brakes back on again. Oh no! Oh, I just arrived. Oh, please don't stop again. I think I might have actually put it in emergency. Let me just release it again. Let me just release it. Oh, it's very sensitive. See, it's really slowing down. I'll leave that um, dynamic brake on though and set up to keep it charging. I bet all the signals behind me are red. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, your brakes are on, are they? I, think that, I don't think so. Set up and released. But I accidentally flicked it to emergency. Like, really quickly. I didn't mean to. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my god. So hot. <sighs> I mean, is that pressure building up again? Yeah, look, it's, it's building up. Yeah, sorry, emergency brakes are on until you come to a standstill. I need to be so careful with that. I mean, I'll use it if I need to. Oh, my days. This is, this is, yeah, I'm definitely not going to, to become a professional train driver. I'm certainly not driving the diesel locos. Right, let's go again. Do not put that brake in emergency. You know, you have to go to a full stop again. How long would this stream be? Well, I was hoping to bring it to an end after around two, two, two and a half hours. Um, it's now past two and a half hours, but twelve miles. And let me just quickly check the schedule. I've probably still got stop, go via. I've st <laughs> still got some more stuff to do. I think after. I think it's just a decoupling that would park the train. Even Concord is easier. Absolutely. Right. Well, again, turn the gas off idle set up to charge it or whatever that is we're already already accelerating to 30 miles now very quickly the rocket that's probably a train I could drive the Stevenson's rocket John yes <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think that dynamic brake's doing anything. Ah, look. Do reverse a handle in. Reverse at any position. Dynamic brake. Reverse a handle in. Reverse a forward or reverse. Throttle stop or idle. Oh, yeah, I've been doing all those steps. The 24. Let me put that dynamic brake to 8 again. It says 100% here. The electricity amperage goes up a little bit. It just doesn't do anything. Stop putting the red brake on now. Yeah, just very carefully. Full service. I don't want to go into emergency. So I'm buying a steam engine to try. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's going to be even more complicated. Right, there we are. Full service brakes again. Full dynamic braking. It is sort of very... It is It is having a stopping force because you were accelerating. It's stopped, pretty much stopped accelerating. So, the, you know, the brakes are... They are doing something. But it's certainly not enough to stop the train from accelerating. Surely the gradient is going to lessen off soon. We had the same issue... Well, I say the same issue. We had the opposite issue an hour and a half ago. We were trying to get up the hill, remember? We were full power for so long. Uh, over speed limit points great. Just need that. Just need a flat track. <laughs> Why can't it just be flat? 
34 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. Camera's already shaking from speed. Oh dear. The amp should be negative if the dynamic rate was working. Maybe. To zero. But when I put the dynamic brake on, it still says zero now. Oh no, 4950. Did you try the ice? No, I haven't tried the ice train yet. I mean, I'm, I'm not using emergency brake again. It just comes to a stop. I mean, I will get there quicker. Will it derail on this game if I go too fast? There's still so far to go. Throttle is on, is it? No, it's idle. I've got that one idle. I bet on the fuses still. Oh my days. Ah, uh, Nubik, for me, dynamic brake worked on only 0.6 downslope maximum. It couldn't handle any more. 1.4, 40 miles an hour. I mean, how are you meant to complete this mission then? Could someone talk to the Debs? I, I swear I've forgotten something. Very important. I mean, we checked the fuse box. Oh. Someone needs to look this up and see if anyone else streamed it and see how they kept the speed under control. Quickly find that streamer. I'm sure someone might have streamed this mission before. What was it called again? I'll let you look it up for a look. Uh, oh, I don't even know what it was called. <laughs> couple and charge. Look at the couple and charge mission. Might be I'll look it up. How do I keep the speed under control? A hey, Yaffe says, wow, well, still live. Yeah, still live and alive, just about, though. <laughs> I guarantee you, it's probably not a bug. It's something that I've got to do. Green signal. How many miles left? It's behind us, we're going over there, 12 miles. Oh well, that won't take as long. If we keep it at 42 miles an hour, it should only take about 20 minutes. Maybe if I jump into the other trains, <laughs> to tell them to break, they should all be breaking. 43 miles an hour. 44. I can't break any more than this. I've got train. I've got trained experts here, full service. You know that. I swear. I, earlier, I was fiddling with that one though, and it did something. I know it shouldn't do. Maybe it's an issue with the model. Are those brake pressures okay? What is the speed limit? Uh, says Jamlin. Uh, all in a minute. It's 50 miles an hour, so we'll be fine. But right now, I think it's 30. Oh, fantastic! When it's 50 miles an hour, no problem. Take it. Oh, we just need to get to that extra speed limit uh, without derailing first. <laughs> Francois has turned left now. Oh. oh, come on, 50 miles an hour. It's so close. Uh, if everyone needs to be idle, let's put that dynamic back in. Set up again because it's not doing anything, is it? Still accelerating. Forty-nine miles now. See, I'm just being efficient. I just know the speed limit's fifty miles up ahead. I'm just bring it up to that speed then. Please don't derail here. Ugh. Fast. 50 miles an hour, full brake still. Oh, my days. Come on, please flatten out. Please. Just want to keep the speed under control. 51. Oh, the speed limit is going to change to 50 any second here. Go around. Oh, no. Alright, 50 miles an hour coming up. Right, perfect. We're only going two miles an hour over the speed limit then, but we've got to wait for the rear of the train, haven't we? Oh dear. Check the fuse panel if you can. We've looked at that one, Henry. Oh, what's up here? Is there anything up here that should be... I don't like how it's shaking like this. 
What's this one? Fuse test. Main breaker on. Fuse. Generator fields. They're all up except the warning one. Well, how fast are we? 54 miles an hour. 55. Come on, please, flatten out. Well, there we go. Fa thankfully, it's 50 miles an hour, so I'm not going as fast. Past the rail crossing, toot toot, yes, with the board. Well, at least we're going to cover the journey a lot quicker now. Oh, 55 miles an hour. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Dear, rip gold medal. I know. You seen another stream when the MP was with about. It's about 700 with 71% dynamic only. What does that mean? Did they have the same issue with the speed running away? 56. Is it still accelerating? No, the gradient's flattening off a little bit. Come on. Let's get me back to 50. Yes, look, it's slowed down. 56, 55. Yes. Uh, Kieran, go back to that round switch on the back wall with four positions. Isolation switch. I think that's for the lighting though. Headlight control. Hot engine. Oh, don't want to push that. Right, green signal. Uh, 52. Okay, it's like the speeds. Speeds coming back under control, but that is purely the gradient. Do I risk taking the brakes off a little? Let's take the, I'm going to release the brakes. I'm feeling confident. Uh oh, green signal ahead. We're okay. Right, brakes. Oh, 51%. 52. 50. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep the brakes on a little bit. That's a little bit too confident. Thank goodness for the gradient. I, I can hold the speed under control if the gradient is sort of less than 0 0.6. Any more than that, we're getting some really steep gradients. 9.5 bars to go. Thank you all very much for your patience, though. <laughs> That's great to see people watch from the start. Oh dear. Like, the, we, we did about 30 minutes of underground and then two and a half hours. <laughs> Try to get this freight train from A to B. Right, that's holding the speed pretty much solid, and that breaks at 89%, so I'm just going to go to full service again. Let's see if we can get it back to 50. And we'll look at that guide's <laughs> neck. I know, it's so long. 51 miles an hour. If this uh, stop is on a downhill slope part, I'm screwed. Like, I am completely screwed. There's 50. Let's try 75% break. This gradient's just increased again slightly at 0.7. John says apologies to Mrs. for stepping on the stop and go getting on Valerian. <laughs> she has her own PC, she was just saying she's going to go play Valerian. She, she has her own one now. But yes, she was often on this Flight Egg Sim gaming PC for a while. Right, holding the speed at 49. That's fine. We have seven miles to go. This is so far. Oh, look, 0.3%. Oh, finally. Put the brakes to 50% now. Oh, no. I'm just going to do a flyby. 
Perhaps the speed is a little bit under control. 48%. Still slowing down a bit, so let's try 25%. Try to do it in like quarter increments. Watch the entire sunset. There's our train. Six percent. That's forty-six miles an hour. So, uh, sorry, with twenty-five percent brakes. Forty-four. Oh, we have to. I have to put the gas on soon. I have to release the brakes. Look. Although the slopes increase slightly. My oh. Listen, but take care, buddy. Thanks a lot for popping in and uh, enjoy your evening, man. Thank you. Uh, John, just before, how about getting Mrs. Cap to do a train sim? <laughs> well, Marietta, I'm trying to get her to convince her to do a flight sim stream, let alone a uh, train sim one. Right, that's the first time for a while we had the brakes completely released. Slowly creeping up to 50 miles an hour, and you have six miles to go. Yes, Javelin, you're right. We need to do that. Scenario still needs to sit down, but she's been she's doing all her courses to be back at the work. She's quite busy at the moment. Um, and then I'll be doing a stream on the main channel uh, either tomorrow or Friday, and then one on the weekend as well. The 12th of April's coming, guys. Be able to uh, go out and about and do some more things in the UK. Looking forward to. Uh, John, have you basically been idle for the entire journey? Well, the first half I had to use a lot of power because it was uphill. And then, yeah, for this one, I've barely had to use any power. Just to get it moving again after we stopped. But it's been downhill the entire way for the last... Well, I've lost, tra I've lost track of what we were actually doing on this mission. We're picking up a rescue train. That's all as, as much as I know. We have, a, I think, a faulty dynamic brake. Certainly, well, I, don't, I think it could be realistic. It's just not very good at dealing with stopping on this such a steep gradient here. That's uh, really flat look here. Braking action equals pause, says Samuel Butler. <laughs> it's honestly like landing on a contaminated runway <laughs> that's made out of like the smoothest ice. Uh, two tons. Uh, Mog F is going to be 17 or 18. If I haven't decided two tons. Uh, be one of those days. One of those days. Um, uh, something might come up from my work still. So my roster. I'll check my roster when it gets released. Uh, just before this weekend, and then I'll be able to work out so what day we do it. Oh, going uphill now. Look. Oh, going uphill. Oh my days. 0.3 percent up. Five miles to run. Elgin Thomas just finished my nine hour train driving day in the northwest. Glad to see my side of life, Captain. Thank you very much, Elgin. You will you'll be shocked at my abilities. <laughs> I'll be, be doing my best. The, the tube one, by the time I'd finished doing the tube driving, I was getting a little bit more proficient, but there was a few station overruns. This has been really tough hauling 5,000 tons of coal or whatever it is with the gradients going down again now. Thank goodness for this. If I had all this like that, oh, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> Andy, I'm hoping for a cloudless uh, members only group flight so we can take the Zebo and get decent FPS. I saw you mentioned in Discord just before the stream. Fingers crossed. Uh, we'll be going stateside, guys. Eh? West, west, I think west of the United States. Uh, I think it's the sort of general consensus.
John says, doing well for a noob. <laughs> now it's flat. Now the gradient's under control. I can control the speed. Uh oh, Amber. Four miles to go. We've nearly finished. Why am I nearly three hours stream? It's so long for a flight exit gaming stream. John M, why are you braking? Because uh, the gradient changed. I, saw he, I, I was getting scared of the gradient. I'll release it. Maybe that dynamic brake is being a little bit more effective because I have had it still set to 8. So maybe that's actually coming into force and uh, doing something now because it's so much flatter. Right, actually, I'm actually going to put that to off. Going slowly up here. Greenbush just looks much more complicated than the 737. Yeah, to me it does. <laughs> Agreed. Three and a half miles to go. Oh, look, we've got a 35 mile an hour speed limit coming up as well. Uh, Alexander says dynamic brake is broken in the latest update according to the devs on Steam. Ah, okay. I'm going to have to start slowing down now. Anyway. So there's probably not much point using the uh, dynamic brake then. Probably if that was working correctly, the combination of dynamic brake and these would have kept my speed under control. That would explain a lot, yes. Oh, that, that, that's plenty of excuses to use then. Perfect. Right, oh, can I put... Uh, might be a bit faster to make the speed limit. So I only have dynamic brakes. See, it's not just flight sim that has problems. Train sim devs uh, occasionally break things too. <laughs> Rumor should join the stream late. Can you show the outside of the train? Yes, sir. I'll just uh, quickly flick over now. There it is. It's a diesel train. A big one. And we're towing 51 carriages of coal. And we have two diesel trains in the back. Better view for you. There we are. Uh-oh. Speeding again now, though. speed back to 35 but yeah because it's flat so at least the brakes are doing something 2.9 miles to go yeah I was a little bit late there with the brakes have an amber signal day boy yeah the other guy had 700 MP with 71% dynamic and he had 50 MP with 100% now it's completely different then bit broken then. Yes, de definitely broken, that's why I've been struggling all day. <laughs> right, that's the speed under control. Release the brake again. Right, what's the next signal? Doesn't say yet. 60 miles an hour coming up again. Well, I don't want to go that fast. 2.4 miles to go. I mean, at 30 miles an hour, that's only going to take us 4 minutes to get there. So it is 60, but I think I'll just let it roll. I'm going downhill again. Right, I need to start thinking. It was, oh, it was two miles. It was, it was, wasn't it? We need to start thinking about braking. I've got 25 mile an hour speed. Like, there's no point going 60. It's the length of the train. <laughs> Might have put those brakes up again. John M, what you mean struggling? We were helping lots in between shortly. I, ah, yes. So I think when I said we we're having problems, I, if it weren't for you guys, I would never have gotten as far as we have. That's for sure. <laughs> this is how the dynamic brake is supposed to work. Throttle must be in idle for 10 seconds. Am should be at zero before switching the dynamic brakes to set up position. Thanks, Alexander. Throw it reverse if you have to. I don't know if that'll do anything, Nathan. <laughs> Point nine miles to go. 25 mile an hour speed limit coming up though, so I'm going to have to crank those brakes up to full service again. Cool. 32. 
so that the brakes are effective enough with the gradients less than 1%, but what's the highest gradients we're getting here? It's like 1 1.8, 1 1.9, wasn't it? It's 30. Profile looking good, let her roll. Uh, I'll just get it below 25 miles an hour. Oh, look, I think I might have timed that 25 mile an hour speed limit. Look at that. 26. Oh, perfection. 25 miles an hour, 100 yards to go. Oh, oh. Some stuff you just cannot teach, guys. <laughs> One point six miles to go. That's going to be about three minutes at this speed. And I think after we've stopped, I'm still not quite done. I've got to do some uncoupling and, and some other bits and pieces. Fiesta for this. We're on final. Alpaca zero one. Turn left heading zero three zero degrees on this heading. Cleared to enter the train yard at twenty three miles an hour. Oh, speed's running away. That's, this took ages. This took so much longer. Why did we pick this one? <laughs> oh, it's flat again, look. Zero percent. I guess because the rest of the train's on the gradient, maybe that's still pushing uh, pushing down on us. But leave it at, with it at zero percent gradient. We should be fine at uh, just letting it roll. Oh, that's a shame. So, they did obviously work. Yeah, on the other stream I watched, they only did dynamic brakes, it seems. Well, I have no, I've had no dynamic brakes the whole, the whole stream. That's a, uh, that's a uh, shame. Uh, Paul, yes, the rest of the train will be pushing. Understood. Yeah, you can see, look, it's flat, but we are still accelerating slowly. So, the rest of the train that's on that gradient must be pushing. It's a real balance, a uh, real balancing act. Are you stopping at this yellow? I guess so. Well, no, 0 0.6 and 1. I, that's where I need to stop for the, for the game to, to say I've done it. They'll probably say, now do the return journey. <laughs> right, this should be all flat now because we've had 0% gradient for ages. One mile to go. That's going to be at, what, 23 miles an hour and two and a half minutes? Oh, John, I didn't, I didn't even sense any sarcasm. Just wondered if the mission ends at the yellow. No, I, I don't know. I think when we get to the yellow, just looking at this very quickly. Uh, stop. Then go via location. Oh, don't, if it's another 10 miles, I'll probably end it there. But it says go to terminal. Oh, if it says right, another 10 miles, that'll be it. Because <laughs> I need to finish at 7. A dandy T1990. I think John knows that. He's uh, a train driver. <laughs> He's just trying to say, Dandy, that this point is... Uh, are we stopping at this point? That's a good question. Not do we. Right. Going at sensible speed. We're just rolling nice. He's a little bit downhill. Yeah, let me duck a go. I've got 900 yards until I need to stop, so I'm going to some brakes off now. <laughs> You've got it, Samuel Butler. <laughs> I need to eat as well. Coming up to the point where we need to stop. Fact. Oh, it's a red light. Uh, yeah, let's definitely get those brakes off, just in case. I'll go, supp I'll go suppression. 600 yards until I need to stop. Fifteen. Is that, that going to slow down quick enough? Fourteen. Thirteen. I think so. Yeah, it took, it, took, it took a while for the brakes to kick in, but I think we're good. Arrest the cable dealer. I don't think there's many arresters that will stop this thing, Kieran. <laughs> That sound. 
was a little bit ambitious, but I'd far rather do that than come steaming in too fast. It takes ages for the brakes to kind of... And then a bit downhill here. Oh, I bet he's going to want me to stop right before the signals. Oh, come on, don't completely stop. Oh, I didn't come to a complete stop. I got to 1.3. <laughs> oh, come on. Push. Right, he's taking back up the gas. Look, it's rolling on its own quite nicely. 1.4, 1 1.5. 1 oh, my goodness me. Trolls might want to switch a throttle. Well, I don't think so. Not on this slope. I had so many problems trying to get this thing to stop all day. It's almost just a notch four. Oh, but if I want to stop, when I start braking, it's going to take ten seconds for it to start braking, isn't it? Oh, I've got one train driver saying notch four, another one saying no throttle. <laughs> I mean, these guys are experts, they'll know exactly what will work and when they'll stop. Just as well, there's no time constraints. <laughs> 4 4.2, 4.14. It's uphill now, I know. I think the majority of the train though is on the downhill segment, so hopefully it will push us to get slowing down. To, yeah, it's still accelerating, but if I take the brakes off. Yeah, Kira, majority weights on the downhill grade will push you along properly. Yeah, you can see, look, it's accelerating still. Be prepared to note the phone number the controller gives you. Unbelievable. Try to judge it, it's so hard. <laughs> Trolls, how close do you need to get? I don't know. I'm gonna try and get the cab right on it. I think that should do us. And then I can just put the brakes on about. Oh, it's gonna stop before that, isn't it? should have released it sooner. I should have released it about five seconds ago. Alright, it's rolling still. And then I've got to put the brake on as well. I'm going to do it just before it, because I think it can still kind of roll up to the signal a little bit. Yeah, I think it needs to be on top of the marker. And there we are. Right, it's accelerating again. I reckon if we put it on now. No, don't stop. Oops. Before it, whatever you do. No! Oh, it's a little bit better than I thought. <laughs> oh, it's just there, right in front of me. Oh, this train so long. Better stop like that than go past the signal. True. I'm going to just go right over it because we'll definitely stop between there and there with full service. Someone way back in the crossing there is going to be very annoying. Yes! Now please don't tell me we've got to do another 10 miles. Cumberland Tower, this is B251 requesting entry to Cumberland. Over. 
please don't be far, please don't be far. B251, subject to signal indications, proceed in the Cumberland Terminal. Over. Cumberland Tower. Less than five miles, B251, doable, more than that. Proceeding in the Cumberland. A problem. Out. 0.7, doable, doable. Let's go, let's get this thing done. Run, release. A little bit of power. Dynamic breaks off, we know it's broken in this version now. Throttle 1, Throttle 2, let's go. So again, he said go, the signal's green here, but I see red and white. Uh, I, I, if anyone asked me a question saying, would you stop there, I'd be like, yes. Into the yard now. Gonna keep a bit of throttle on, because it will eventually go uphill, even though weight of the train's pushing us down at the moment. Uh, Jonas Carson, do you recommend the Fly J Sim 732 or 727? I love both of them, but I, if I had to pick two, I'd say the 737-200. It's a little bit more complete. Um, I feel, but I think they're both brilliant. I do prefer the... the, the if I, well, I don't prefer, I quite like the 727. I enjoyed streaming it a few days ago. Um, but I think the 200 is a little bit more of a complete aircraft. Well, that's almost about to cross the road. Oh wait, I haven't done it once correctly, have I? Here we go, about to cross the... <laughs> I meant to have the bell on all the time, aren't we? Uh, Iris Turbo, when do you think will be next stream on Flight Day to Sim? Uh, Skipper, it'll either be tomorrow or Friday. I don't think it'll be tomorrow, because I still need to set up. Uh, it'll be Zebo. Uh, Six. I might do a little Friday night thing because still can't do anything else in the UK. Can't leave the house unless you go outside, and I have no plans to beat anyone outside until Friday evening. So, so yeah, we'll jump in the month then, or, or tomorrow on Thursday. I've decided, and then I'll probably do it on Sunday as well. Right, well, let's not go too crazy because we've only got 900 yards to go. Again, what's this going to be here on the schedule? Terminal, stop at location, turn the lights off. I think that's it. I hope so. Uh, no aviation chat, absolute nonsense, Kieran. You could ask me any flying questions as you wish, as you would do on the other channel. John, what's the speed into the yard? We do 5 miles an hour. Ah, uh, 15 mile an hour speed coming up. So, I'll keep it going for now because we've got this uphill grade here. It seems to be pretty heady, steady at 0.8 now. And uh, that's with throttle 2. I'll leave it just as it is. Northpoint is actually slowing down at 0.9.7. Let's just crank it up to 3, see what happens. Sorry, I've not done enough external views here for today. Oh, ne next time we should stream this, it's going to be a, a passenger route, like passages. Not underground, the underground's a bit more but I want to do lots of start stops. This has been a whole. Uh, yeah. A whole different challenge. It's been fun, though. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, actually, if you could do me a favour, guys, for any train no house enthusiasts, let me know. I mean, lots of people came up with some great suggestions with the DLCs and stuff. Which one to get? Because I like this has been fun, and I think you guys have enjoyed it. We had a lot of people watching uh, for the, the size of the channel, and obviously most of you from the main channel. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know which DLC is the best ones. Uh, leave it in the comment section below after the video. So get this DLC, and we'll do that. Next time, I'm, I'll probably do ETS2 beforehand. Uh, Euro Truck Sim. I'm only talking about this channel. I, only, I generally only stream on this one once a week. Uh, but they're, they're so much more fun. I love doing the Fly Day Sim streams, but they do require a lot more setting up and preparation, which I love doing as well. Uh, but these ones are great because I can just fire up the game and just chill out with you guys. And play. So let me know uh, which ones to get for this game, Train Sim World 2. And uh, we'll get to it. Right, let's see if we can stop into the yard in a nice controlled way. We've got 300 yards. It's all right. Coast is in now. Is that too soon? I don't know. 8.3, 8.2. Yes, maybe a little bit too soon. Uh, David, you lied the April Fool's joke the other day. That was very his idea, actually. 
people. I actually got some people. I got one message from someone said, "Oh, good luck. Uh, you know, I'm very well getting a new uh, airline job, getting onto the Airbus. Well done." And I was like, oh, "It was only April Fool's, buddy." And I thought he might have been joking, but no. He thought I was actually going to go fly the Airbus. John, if I don't play trace him, get enough of the buggers at work. Brilliant. Oh, like, right. ooh, 130 yards. Now, let's see if I can. We actually better stop if this brings us all. Time this a little bit better. Oh, it's a go through, does it? Oh no, it's not a stop. Are oh, you joking? I look like oh, that looked like a perfect stop as well. It is a go through. I'm just wasting more and more time. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh. It's a go via point. Yeah, thanks. Any more comments? <laughs> I was doing really well. I thought I was working really hard just getting it right on that point. It was looking beautiful. Beautiful. And I don't even need to stop here. Oh, gosh. Oh, dear. Move on. And now it's going to say another five miles, isn't it? Oh, no, I don't need to. That was me. 1.4 miles. And it's another go via look. Oh, unbelievable. I can only do 15 miles an hour. Is <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tim Waters around here? I don't think you'll find Tim Waters around in this stream. He has a sort of interesting relationship with trains. The next one as well. Thanks for the heads up on that, plainly. Flying plane said, "Andy, I've said you want good advice. <laughs> advice taken. Oh my goodness! But so much fun. It's been a, a right blast, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Albeit, I think the highest speed we've gotten to all day was 50 miles an hour, and even at that point, we were trying to slow down. <laughs> yes, next stream we'll do some proper passenger stops." And Starts. See, see how efficient we can be. We're running away with the speed again. Only a mile to go at 15 miles an hour. Uh, that's going to be four minutes. I might, I might just let the speed trickle up to 20 miles an hour, <laughs> just because I think we've had enough speeding all day. And it's a bit broken. You better give me at least one medal. I think he's done okay for a move. <laughs> to be fair, also that dynamic brake's been broken apparently since the latest patch. So, so that's uh, so that's probably not helped me either. All right, 0 0.9 miles. This I know I'm going a little bit fast. Oh, it, red critically going fast. Yeah, I bet you get in serious trouble if you're doing that in the yard with people. When will you do fishing? A fishing stream? Oh my days. Um, <laughs> I don't think I'll do a fishing stream. Oh dear. 
I know there are fishing games there. Well, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. Bus bus driver, someone suggested once. A lot of the simulator games are always going to be fun. <laughs> Going to sim. I actually planned that on the iPad uh, job pad field. It's great fun. Did you close the uh, air stairs? Unbelievable. Uh, Sirius Aptin, if you keep uh, spamming chat with lots of random stuff, you'll soon get uh, timed out. Uh, try and keep it uh, reasonably normal. Alpaca farming simulator said John M. Unbelievable. Check on check out the bus one dash one scale version of Berlin. Really? That's quite cool. Oh, please, after this one, don't uh, don't tell me what the loads want to do. Escape uh, schedule. Stop after right after that one. It's stop at Emirates Creek and turn off the lights. Right. It just depends how far off this. Uh, this thing is afterwards. We're just coasting now on a flat gradient. It's quite nice. We've got no brakes, no throttle, just sitting at 70 miles an hour really nicely. Uh, how about another... Uh, how about how to be an Airbus simulator pilot 2021? Oh, that wouldn't take too long. Mower simulator is that even a thing. <laughs> right, 200 yards to go. Right, and this is a stop one. This is carry on. Look how dark it is now. When we started this, it was bright summer's day. Stop at location in a mile. Okay. Okay. Let's just let it coast at 17 miles an hour. Red simulator. Is that a thing? <laughs> Easy to drive in dark. You can see the signals a lot quicker. Ah, yes, of course. I can see it. It's like green ahead. Well, I think that's where I need to stop. And it's a bit downhill here. He finished his shift ages ago. There's a long, long neck bag still here. It is called I Am Bread and it's hilarious. Oh my days. One of my earliest games I ever had. I say earliest, no, I had ones before that. Was Restaurant Empire. Here, who, here. There, let me start again. Who here had Restaurant Empire? Remember that? Came out in like 2004. 2005, I was like a, uh, growing up as a teenager when I had it. It was such a fun game. You had to like make your own restaurants, make your own uh, meals and stuff. I wonder if you could still play that. It was such a wicked game. And you had to like, you started off as a really small restaurant. Uh, and they had like this guy with like red hair, I remember. It was like a little story. It was a really well made game. But, yeah, I really enjoyed playing that. Doodle Jump. I had Doodle Jump on the uh, iPhone as well. Nine hundred yards to go. Nearly done. And this is a three and a half hour stream. An hour longer than I ever planned. <laughs> Alright, nearly there. I just uh put a trickle of brakes on as we are. Yeah, if we were, if we do stream this again, I'll look at some of the DLC. And I, again, like before, I won't have any practice. I'll probably just fire it up, just make sure I can at least get the train started. But I won't complete any of the missions without you guys. Uh, see, no great in controlling with these brakes. Uh, Daddy, is it cold takeaway tonight because of overall no takeaway tonight? I'm having pie, but pie from uh, Tesco. Uh, the 
oven's already on. Pie, mashed potato, peas, veg, gravy. I'll make you something hungry, no doubt. <laughs> Three hundred yards to go. See if I can do it this time. See if I can stop it. Right on the money. See if I can stop it right on the money. Practicing all day. I'd be concerned if these sort of noises Alexander Wood came from the aircraft. <laughs> I can't believe that though. <laughs> Just letting it trickle there. I don't need any gas. So I'm a little bit of a gradient. Very funny idea, M71. <laughs> so no butter. No, we'll call that one an acceptable approach. <laughs> Unbelievable today. Absolutely. There we are. We'll let it trickle in. And you're probably, probably only halfway through this mission. Uh. Objective complete. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Jim. We're all done for the day. Switch off any active lights on the locomotive. Okay. Off. Turn those off, those off. Set the reverser to neutral. And walk over to the control tower to complete the duty. Oh, I don't need to turn the train off then. Good <gasps> job. That's us done for the day. Uh, I know. Thanks. Let's get out of here. 500 yards? Walk over to the control yard for 500 yards? Oh, for goodness sake. You haven't. To... <laughs> I'm going to go for a sprint now. <laughs> Get me off this train! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over there! Right, if I hold down shift, it's sprint, isn't it? Alright, there we go. <laughs> Start jogging on the trains. Oh, I've got red crosshairs. Right, see you later, Jim. <laughs> oh, yes, now it's jogging simulator. Don't forget, children don't play on the tracks as well. <laughs> oh my days. As if they make you run all this distance afterwards. Why couldn't they make the train just stop a little bit further up on the yard and they just walk over, uh, you know, that short distance? You still have to drive 200 miles home after this, said Luke H87. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh my goodness. Phone a cab. Hey, maybe they've got one of those guys on the train with, the, you know, with the seesaw action going, you know, up and down, up and down. The two guys <laughs> that you see in like the comedy sketches. Oh dear. Ninety yards. <sighs> Jim is running behind me. I am gonna catch you. And you're like, no. <laughs> oh look, there's my car. Look at my vehicle as well. I finished! Two hours and 28 minutes and a silver medal! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was tough. That was tough. Right. 
There's no timings or anything like that. I had to be there. Speed, look, speed limit. You can see the times, look, where I was struggling, look, with the, with the speed running off. Look at those occasions there, you can see it. Amazing. Right, continue journey. Are you having a replay? Absolutely not. Going to the main menu. Well then guys, that's the end of another Flight Deck to Sim gaming stream. I hope you found that really enjoyable. Um, sorry that one dragged on a little bit as well. Uh, I think it was said it was meant to take two hours anyway, but still I made it last half an hour uh, later than it should have been. But uh, it was great fun trying the, the train out. Um, we tried out the tube, we tried out the little the US train. The, the next one then, whether there's some decent DLC you guys would recommend, or maybe this German ice train we could take for a spin, I don't know, but uh, we'll probably most likely jump back at this at some point, but it's been uh, great fun nonetheless. Uh, guys, if you could like and subscribe to this channel, that'd be great. Don't forget to check out the Fly Data Sim channel as well if you are new here. I think they're mostly channel members and subscribers to the other channel, but uh, my main channel is over at Fly Data Sim. I'll be streaming in the Zebo Bots either tomorrow or Friday, but guys, it's been great fun. Thank you for everyone uh, that turned up, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.